hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Raid, drop the bats, defend the channel from this villainy and scum that has come to our honorable channel! Hey, thanks for the follow! Welcome to the family! Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family.
Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. Hey, thanks for the sub. I appreciate your support. support. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. your support. Hey, thanks for the sub. I appreciate your support. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. <laughs> hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. Hey, thanks for the sub. I appreciate your support. support. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. Kyle Phillips! Kyle Phillips! Oh, man. Every time. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're here. Hey, thanks for the sub. I appreciate your support. Hello, everyone. I know it's laundry day. It's laundry day. I'm sorry. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. Hello, hello. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. Welcome, welcome. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. Welcome everyone to Twitch. Whoops. Welcome to Twitch. Dot TV slash Kyle Phillips Fun. My name is Kyle Phillips, and I like to have fun. Clearly. 
A lot of first timers in chat. Welcome in. It's like you guys are big Skate the Infinity fans and are really excited for this panel. Is that accurate? June, welcome in, June. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. Yo. Yes. Yes. Hey, bitches and bros More and hoes. More gifts. The line that kicked everything off. Hey, thanks the for the line follow. that kicked everything Welcome off. To the family. There'd be steak the infinity. <laughs> I wish. I would love some steak the infinity. He did. He said the thing. Yeah, guys, got some Thanks Skate Season 2. Skate Season 2 is coming someday. Someday. I've been wanting to do a big skate uh, panel for a long time. And uh, finally, I have done it. Uh, I'm very excited. Thank Wearing you your skate gentlemen. merch. For the sub. I appreciate your support. I've got my... I should. This isn't my shirt. This is someone else's shirt. But I've got my, my skate follow. shirt. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Uh, Welcome so the sad family. news though. Kieran Strange, <laughs> the voice of Fennec Fox, uh, is sick and has opted out. Did I hear about Coolio? No. What's wrong with Coolio? What? Oh. Damn, Coolio. Pour one out for Coolio. Holy moly. <laughs> That is uh, intense. Completely unexpected. I'm good. First Ned cheated and now this. <laughs> All right on Weeb Nerd, welcome in. Uh, guys, uh, so this is something I do once a month or I, I try to do once a month. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, life gets in the way. Excuse me. But, I do this once a month. This is my subscriber benefit guest panel stream. Now, everyone is welcome to watch, but subscribers get to ask welcome questions. To so if you're a subscriber, you want to subscribe, you get to ask questions. Now, uh, now is actually kind of the perfect time because uh, uh, it is sub uh, September. There you go. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate uh, If support. you're not a subscriber, but you want to become a tier one sub, or if you are a prime sub, but you want and you want to go ahead and commit to being a tier one sub, you, know, you get like some percentage so off. If you upgrade to tier two or tier three, you get some percentage off. If you subscribe for months in advance, you get percentage off. If you gift subs, you get a percentage off. This is the month to uh, be a sub. You don't have to. Feel free to just chill out and, and 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 relax hey thanks for the follow if you're not a sub but you're a follower family. you get five follower emotes for my channel and every stream i change up one of them hey, and so tonight of course for the panel welcome is the skate the, the infinity logo hey thanks for the follow welcome to the family so you get access hey, to that follow. welcome to the family Holy oh, yes, you have three more days. Sub. I appreciate your support. And guys, use your sounders while you can. When we go, when we bring the guests on, sounders and hey, alerts and all that will be silent. So family. yeah, there you go, Rocket Swift. <laughs> hey, use your sounders Welcome while you family. can. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. Look at those skate and feel free to spam hey, those hey, skate logos when we family. come on. Uh, you guys, Welcome normally this is when I would, uh, start listing off all the stuff in my activity feed, like new follows, new subs, and all that. 
Uh, you guys Pork are clearly sandwiches. excited about this panel. <laughs> I couldn't even begin sub. to list the amount support. of followers, so I'm not even going to try, but I do appreciate you guys coming in. The more of you that are here, the more energized I feel, the more I want to do some fun stuff like this, so spread the word. Uh, I do all sorts of fun stuff, and I especially do fun stuff for my subs. So like I said, subs gets to get to ask questions during panels. We have a karaoke night for tier two and three subscribers once a month. Uh, we have movie night uh, uh, for all subscribers uh, once a month. And we do an M rated, we call it tier two, three after hey, dark in the, the afternoon Welcome to the for family. tier two, uh, three subscribers. Hey, the Welcome to the family. But for a lot of those benefits, you have to be uh, connected to the discord. So if you're a new subscriber, Make sure you connect your Twitch and Discord uh, accounts, join my Discord, and you get a lot of access to some cool stuff. Let's do a Lord of the Rings panel instead. I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel all these guests, alright? Is that cool? Let's see, we have eight, nine. Okay, so looks like Maxwell, unfortunately, is not gonna make it. Kieran, like I said, is sick. I don't see a Guerrero yet, and I don't see a Zeno yet. So there you go. That's where we currently stand. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome but that's to the okay. Family. We'll just go ahead and get started. I figured some people would just forget and hey, not show up. People might Welcome need to, to leave family. early, stuff like that. So before we begin, let's pray. We'll see. Pray. Down for Lord of the Rings panel. <laughs> Heavenly farts. Heavenly farts. Take over for Kieran. Jonah's here. Kimmy's here. Right on, Kayla. I saw a lot of recce cosplays at, at Salt Lake Fan X. It was cool. Or Fan X Salt Lake, I should say. Rai is here. Rai is here. Um, okay, welcome in. So yeah, welcome in viewers. You have access to uh, followers. You have five emotes. Uh, if you're a Prime or Tier 1 sub, drop all the emotes you have. David Wald is here. There's Taylor. What up, man? If you're a Tier 1 or Prime sub, drop all the emotes you have. Yes, including the my twerking butt emote. You can make me eat my own butt if you're Thanks a Tier 1 problem. sub. Welcome to the family. <laughs> if you're tier two, spam the mod emotes. Hey, for the follow. We have five to the family. mod emotes. We call it the mod collection because the five mods keep this ship fun and safe and hey, afloat. Thanks for the sub. I appreciate your support. Nikki, Nicole, Sush, Matt, and Zero. Give it up for the mods. And of course, hey, my Dan, tier threes. <laughs> Grow up. I want pizza. I want pizza. Hey, for the Welcome sub. in my I tier threes. If you're tier three, spam the hyos, spam the Mitsuki Bakugo, spam the Karas. Oh my God, yes! One of my favorite moments there. Tier threes in the house. And of course, drop the uh drop the cat uh death emotes while you can. You get that for another six days. All right, let's bring some uh, let's bring some guests on. I mean, I think this is probably going to be our crew. I got nine people in the house, and bear with me, guys. I usually do three guests. Hey, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the family. I normally do three guests. <laughs> this is going to be uh, a little intense, so we'll see. Oh yeah, my pre my pre stream poll: best X game sport. Other got one vote. Who's the one? other vote what is that for rollerblading good gifts. bmx little surprise gifts more gifts scooting scootering more gifts seven by far skateboarding one which is what i expected um mad hatter gal okay hold on let me at least shout out the subs guys but really appreciate all the follows love and the hype love and the excitement of Level six? Level seven? 
We're on a level 7 hype train? Did they remove the cap? Hype train cap is gone gifts. for good? Gifts. How high More can we get? Gifts. Uh, let me at More least... Uh, but yeah, I appreciate all you guys, all your excitement. I, I'm loving the energy, loving you guys coming in, loving the excitement. Hey, really the appreciate all the, the follows. Family. Hopefully you guys stick around. I stream three hey, nights a week, one follow. day a week. Tuesday, family. Thursday, Sunday nights, 8.30 Central. Wake up, mommy. I just missed the bus. Oh. Damn. Hey, I forgot I had my sunglasses. Welcome What's up, Zappy? Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday nights, 8.30 Central. Hey, thanks for the sub. I appreciate your support. Um, Wednesday's noon Central, and I stream all sorts of different games and stuff. But if you're a Smash Bros. player, every Sunday night I play Smash Bros. Play with me. Uh, let's see. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you to all yes. you followers. Hey, really appreciate you. Uh, let's see. Matt Hoovian, thanks for the prime sub. Freya Dream VT, thanks for the raid. Jen Rygard, four months oh, sub. Wow. So glad to have been a subscriber for four months. Chris, thanks for dropping a gift sub to the Baron of Bits. Baron of Bits, Marcus Wellner. Milk Doodle, thanks for the cheer. Sam, thanks for the cheer. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. Uh, by the way, sh all you Floridians, be safe, please. Hopefully you're all doing well. Uh, Hardcore Fandom Trash, thanks for the two months sub. Orpheus, thanks for the sub. Jen, thanks for the cheer. El Simops, thanks for the sub. Gerald Marie, thanks for the 25 months sub. Heavenly Fighter. <laughs> may he, may Damon Mills endure the trauma and adversity in the skate panel. <laughs> Luna Bell, thanks for the sub. Four months, appreciate ya. Holy! Yeah, it's been a long time, man. Thanks for the cheer. Woo Tria, thanks for the 10 gift subs. Well, that's what kicked off our our hype train. Appreciate ya. Matt, hey, thanks for uh, dropping a gift sub, sub to I Benjamin appreciate Oscar. Support. Appreciate ya. Lotom's in the chat. For Coolio. <clears throat> Let's see. Wolfsa, uh, thanks for the sub. Wu Treya, thanks for dropping a gift sub to Clobro. Mayuka, thanks for the prime sub. Four months. Hey, Jen, thanks, thanks for, for it. Sub. I you subbed. Support. You cheered, and now two gift subs. Appreciate you. And then another cheer. Oh my gosh. Matt, thanks for dropping one to Marianne. Marianne, welcome in. Matt Hattergowl with 10 gift subs. My goodness. JZM, thanks for the sub. Tashi, thanks for the cheer. Sarah, thanks for dropping one to. Uh, a Scrabble, a good Scrabble hand. Rebel Elliot, thanks for the sub. A couple more cheers in there from Kayla and Crit. Kayla dropping one to A. Bibby. Victor, thanks for the cheer. And oh, hi, Lucia, thanks for the sub. Guys, let's do some panel action. Not ready. You can't come back. Uh oh. Now. Let's go. Kyle sucks. Kyle sucks. Kyle sucks. Kyle sucks. Kyle sucks. Kyle sucks. Welcome Kyle to the sucks. stream. My number one fan. A man who should have been in Skate the Infinity. Mr. Chris George. What is up, my dude? Welcome. Chris, I got to debrief with you about Salt Lake Fan X, by the way. All right, y'all. If you are a, a follower, please spam your AAB emotes. Those are your age appropriate beverages. Start spamming your AABs and IRL everyone, please join me in raising an age appropriate beverage so that we may cheers to a good stream. Whoa, <laughs> cheers. Clink. Wow, spam and ask them to spam and you shall receive. Okay, uh, guys, get ready to now spam your bit emotes. And please rise. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this thanks fly for, for a follow. second. Welcome to the. Get ready to. Oh, hey, Kimmy! <laughs> thanks for the cheer. Get ready to spam your bit emotes. I know where am I? And uh, please hey, rise. Welcome to the for family. our national anthem.
I'm the clever one, you're the potato one. Okay. Oh my gosh. I gotta figure this out. Oh, there is a Zeno. Oh wait, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on. Okay, okay. Guys, okay, here we go. Hi. We're just Hi. all there. Oh. Yeah, you're just oh, all here. <laughs> Are we on air? Oh, I so. Hello, okay. Oh, stream. Hey. Welcome just... to the chat. Or, welcome to the chat. Welcome to stream. Uh oh, Escape the Infinity. Yeah, yeah. Hi guys. Oh, okay. I thought this was the beginning of the Brady Bunch. <laughs> I mean, we can we can do that. Sorry. That's the thing we can do. Uh, we, the skatey Happy bunch. Skater. The skatey bunch. <laughs> bunch. There we go. Okay. Now, okay. Let me figure this out. This is this is new for me. This is a new thing. I had to find something new to have all of you like come on and do this. So <laughs> we figured it out. We've, I think we got it. But okay, yeah. so chat, I'm gonna go Brady Bunch style. We got Kimmy Britt up there, voice of uh Car no Carla? Carla. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. I almost I almost said Charlotte. <laughs> I could have asked her two years. It's been a bit. Charlotte. Wow. Yeah, it's been a little bit. Uh we got uh my co-director on Skate the Infinity and Tony Hawk, Chris Waycamp. That's right. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> Or, I mean, uh, Hawk, Tony right? Hawk in the pro play. skater. That's right, oh, me. the pro skater. That's right. Uh, we got oh, the man, the myth, the legend, winner of two dub awards for his role in Skate the Infinity, David Wald. Hey! Hey! What's happening, everybody? Rocking the. Let's see the shirt. That's my boss. Yeah, I, I was telling the guys earlier. I, I'm 50 years old, and I've never in my life purchased anything from Hot Topic. <laughs> now the time has come. I mean, Excellent. that's I mean that's the way to go for sure. Uh, next yeah. to David, of course, is the voice of Recky, Matt Shipman. That's me. Hi. Look, I got a skate shirt on too. It's got oh, all you your do? favorites. Oh, Woo! that's cool. Hot topic, oh. also. <laughs> there you go. Uh, oh, in the shadows, yeah. appropriately, uh, we got Chris Guerrero, voice of Shadow. Hey. <laughs> What's up, nerds? Hey, glad to be here tonight. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, next to Chris, we got the Burninator himself, Twitch Royalty. Oh, calm down. <laughs> Brandon Johnson, voice of the dog. <laughs> this is right. Not even Good Donna. Boy. She's just Dog. Just the dog. Well, Mark Bar. <laughs> that's that, all he is now. Yeah, that's right. Well, you know, he's uh, <laughs> he's he's got some stuff to do and say. Uh, yeah, yeah, also yeah. rocking some skate uh, merch or at least some maybe some cosplay. Oh yeah, there we go. Voice of Mia. We got Ryan McKeon. What's up? Oh yeah. My roommate made this for me. Oh yeah. hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Nice. And uh, we got uh, uh, one of the coolest one of the coolest people here next to Rye. Voice of, man, I feel terrible. I don't remember that your character's name. Oki. Oka. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oki. We talking fighting game terminology? Uh, it's all. It's all. It's all. It's all up. We got Zeno uh, Robinson in the house. Fucking mixed up, bro. What is up, dude? What is up, dude? Oki. 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 And now Zeno's like, I'm gonna leave now. Yeah. When I my, He's like, I gotta go early. Bye. Uh, next to me okay. is uh, so we're snuggling. Bird. Uh, voice of maybe best boy. I, I don't know how how character the character popularity polls are, but uh, I feel like people just absolutely love the like quiet, sad types. And that, Shadow, of course, yeah. Shadow. <laughs> Shadow, yeah. That of course is uh, Longa. 
characters how Ooh, are, hey, what is i'm up? here how's and i'm also i also have a skate shirt it's all yeah it's what? A just long long. Oh. Yeah. it's just longa no that's badass yeah. yes, that's cool hell yeah <laughs> longa manga longa longa yeah, uh, manga. now next to uh howard is someone i finally met in person for the first time uh, back Ooh, in orlando yeah. And uh, it was during his birthday. It was great. Yeah, hey. I was traveling and working on my birthday. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> great. And uh, also rocking some skate, some skate merch, including yeah. the awesome Joe Whataburger shirt. You got it. It's cheap. It was like ten bucks. Voice of our like favorite a, himbo. Stickers. Like a Whataburger meal. Oh, there you go. We got. I Jonah voiced Scott. your dad. <laughs> no, you voiced my dad. <laughs> you voiced your dad. There you go. There you go. <laughs> And then, of course, what what is we can't have uh, matcha without the blossom. Nice. <laughs> Ever how long you said on that one? That's right. Yeah, it was it was a little bit. No, actually, I just came up with That's it because so as I was saying it, I was like, which one would be matcha? Which one would be blossom? But of course, cherry. I am blossom. Would be the blossom. We got blossom. Damon Mills in the house. Screen. I have cherry blossoms on my, my oh. thing, and I have flowers on my arm. Hey, wow, thanks very for the cool. Sub. Wait, did you guys get support. my reference with my shirt for Don't my know. character? Definitely. Oh, oh, nobody got it. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Nobody, I see nobody got it. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I wore my shirt too, guys. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> uh, Tony Hawk. We like it. Yeah, it's, it's a Tony good. Hawk reference. Oh, yeah, man. it's good. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. it's laundry day, so I am forced to wear my my hated, my least favorite shirt, which is a Daisy shirt. But uh, uh, <laughs> alas, it's fine. Well, guys, everyone, welcome in. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Kieran is sick. Kieran oh. is sick, cannot make yeah. it. And Elizabeth was always gonna be a maybe, and it looks like uh, uh, not gonna be able to make it out. But we got a whole smattering of you, and uh, we're gonna answer some questions, have some fun, and uh, everyone ready? Yeah. Yes. No. Oh, yeah. Sure. Real quick though, can, we, can I get a uh, can I get a, a Twitter drop? We've got all your Twitters here, so you guys can get some people to follow in case they don't cool oh, sheesh. Uh, but uh, throughout uh, there's a there's a chat uh in this program i'm using if you didn't know if there's yeah. if there's like an instagram or, or twitch or anything else you want to drop okay. uh drop yeah. it in there and i can copy it over uh if you uh, don't want to try and do it yourself in this video thing? yeah in this video there's a little chat somewhere oh, there. oh sweet okay. well my first message in there was pour one out for coolio i don't know if you guys mm, saw that i don't I didn't see this okay <laughs> see yeah. Coolio uh rapper just he passed today he did oh did he, he? Mm -hmm. yeah. the rapper yeah. coolio and that was uh like, yeah coolio he was, a coolio he was a he was a real one everyone go listen to gangster's paradise it's great what hey, a grammy hello. right welcome to yeah. the family yep yeah, i don't Somebody. know i don't remember that i think he did maybe he did i don't know anyway um all right i always start off panels with uh the same question and that is uh and we're gonna this will be the i think the only one that everyone answers cool. uh because i think answer. there's gonna be a lot of like <laughs> question for everyone <clears throat> And then it'll just like that's the panel. Um, so I think when we get a question for everyone, just we'll kind of have three people who are just passionate about that question can can answer, and then we'll move on. But this will yeah. be for everyone. Um, cool. uh, what is a a project or a role or something that you've done that you feel uh, flew under the radar that you think uh, people need to know about? Let's we'll start with Zeno. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was going to, because I had my answer. I was actually going to ask. Uh, I'm currently in the show called Link Click. I think it's currently. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's currently no. flying under the radar. No. <laughs> uh, it's a very good show. It's about it time is. travel. It's based off a of Chinese Donghua. Uh, uh, Howard was, uh, is also in it and helped us with translating. And, uh, oh, and, that's cool. Uh, I'm also uh, in, it, in it. He's, uh, <laughs> uh, he's I, I don't even know if I can say who you are, because I feel like that would spoil the whole thing. But, oh. Uh, I yeah, know a little bit about uh, this show, and I think yeah, you just yeah. told me who he is. Yeah, I did. <clears throat> what episode's um, currently out? We're on eight now. Eight just went live uh, Monday. Um, so, Ooh. yeah, everyone go watch Link Click. There you mm -hmm. go. Right on. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever, whoever wants to go. I mean, your my order on screen is different from probably what you guys are looking at here, but if we were to go and if we started with Zeno, then that would put Chris next, Chris Guerrero. Ah, um, 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 um. Ah, uh, Moriarty the Patriot. Uh, imagine the classic tale yes. of Sherlock Holmes and Moriarty, except Moriarty is three people and they're all brothers. And then it turns into a giant organization and essentially eat the rich the anime. 
So oh. I love it. I wish uh, it got a little more attention because we did, it was all, you know, uh, accented. So we did uh, proper accents for that show. Um, yes. My first time ever doing that. No, actually my first time doing an accent in a show was with you, Kyle, for a Megalobox season two for Chief. Ah, yes. Mm. So it was my first time doing something British for uh, a new, uh, you know, accent type. Oh, very so cool. So it was fun, I loved it. Uh, two seasons in OVA. I highly recommend it. Yeah. Uh, Hope Topis mm -hmm. says, I thought he was going to say it turns into a giant orgy. Whoa. Whoa, well, I mean. Uh, hey, you well. said that, chat. Yeah. <laughs> That's for we'll the fanfics. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So next I have Matt. I Can I just point out that Waycamp put his Twitter handle as at Tony Hawk in the chat? I thought that was. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> he did. Why is that? I it. it. <laughs> that flew right by me. That's fucking hilarious. He has a fantastic. I don't know if you guys follow him. His Twitter is amazing. His Twitter is awesome. It's his really awesome. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Waycamp like, is Twitter's Tony hilarious. Hawk or, uh, it, it's just him talking about all the times that people run into him in real life and they're like, Are you Tony Hawk? And he's like, Yes. And then just like everything that happens after that. And I believe all of it. I believe it's all 100% oh, yeah. true. Oh, Some of them become. <laughs> like full-blown therapy sessions yeah for yeah <laughs> it's one of the best things on twitter oh that's, that's awesome. amazing uh i you told us this question earlier so i i sat down and looked through the old resume and went all right which one of these am i gonna <laughs> get seven uh -huh, answers uh, -huh. uh i full disclosure i worked on this more than just acting but uh a show called kemono jihen uh it's a very oh, yeah. very well animated well paced great story action shonen it's very dark too uh i feel like if that was on toonami like 10 years ago it would be gigantic uh, yeah but but it came out in the same season attack on titan season yeah. 16 whatever so it's it, so it, it goes over, but it's good you should mm -hmm. check it out. right on okay we've got jonah. jonah okay so normally i'd say akudama drive however after probing my brain for a second however. i and it's not because i voiced the main character i promise i genuinely think this is a good story uh, on Netflix, you can watch a show called Super Crooks, and yes. uh, it is mm -hmm. based on a in a Western graphic novel about you know not super villains, just super crooks, people that do like light crime to keep their day to day lives going. And uh, I've always a character that just got out of prison named Johnny Bolt, and he's you know this smooth, slick, cool dude. Um, and it's a twelve episode contained story, no season two. I not I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. It's just a good contained story uh with great characters uh abby trot's amazing in it please 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 watch super crooks you're getting some super crooks love in chat including hell yes. i have a cosplay for super crooks <laughs> hell yes that's that's what my if you go to my twitter my profile picture is me cosplaying johnny bolt that's how much i like the show yes is it really? mm -hmm. there you go all right we got the kimmy brit with the cool ass guitar in the background yeah. Hey, thanks. I just I just got that. It's uh it's my baby now. Uh, I have two for this. So the first was a show called No Guns Life. Really, really Ooh, enjoyed that show. That show. Yeah. It was another like it was another Kyle show actually. Uh, I got to play a seven foot tall boy with a gun for a head. Like, what more could you ask for? Very I was cool. right. super excited about that. And then the other one was called uh, Dawn of the Witch. So two completely opposite feels and also opposite ends of my range. So that that was fun. <laughs> There you go. Very cool. All right, Rye, what you got, Rye? Um, I'm gonna say uh, Prince of Tennis. Uh, Prince <laughs> mm, of Tennis yes. is a really fun sports anime. Hey, so thanks, if you like buddy. sports anime, <laughs> you should watch it. There's a lot of it out. We've done the entirety of the Prince of Tennis 2. We're currently doing the most recent season, uh, the Prince of Tennis 2 Under-17 World Cup arc, uh, which is all sorts of crazy. Uh, there's a good chunk of the original shows, episodes that we've dubbed that are also available to watch on the Crunchyroll and Funimation. Uh, I voice the main character in it, but it's also just a really great show. Howard is also in it and directs the show um, and has put so much love and passion into it. And it's legitimately really good and also <laughs> hilarious at parts. So uh, get ready for like just good time, lots of good boys and really fun sports and man antics. Mm -hmm. There you go. Boys Seems only. Seems like there's a lot of overlap with skate. In, in <laughs> yeah, there the kind of is. Yeah. There kind of is. There you go. Automatically, yeah. Yeah. David the Wald. Oh, God. Um, well, I just I just directed a dub of, of Given, finally. It didn't go under the radar. But a, sh uh, a show that did just, uh, that I directed just before then called Stranger, uh, Stranger by the Shore, which is just a 60-minute 
anime film. Uh, it's on Crunchyroll. They just added to Crunchyroll. It's really gorgeous. Less popular than Given, but really <laughs> just as great for, for many of the same reasons. As a director, I'm, I'm more interested in answering that question that way. As an actor, uh, uh, I would say uh, there was a, a really old dub we did down in Houston many years ago uh, called uh, Gachaman Crowds. Ooh. Ooh. And in Gajaman Crowds, I got to voice a character named Berg Katze, who, who's the villain from the original Gajaman. And I, I, thinking about it, I would say that Berg Katze in Gajaman Crowds uh, has a lot of sort of like a proto pre Adam energy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, Another opportunity I once had to go a little nuts, and um, <laughs> yeah, That's... many years before Skate, but a fun watch. Uh, it's a good show, fun, fun show. Uh, I've often uh, talked about uh, directing you in Skate. The way I direct is, I like to keep uh, my actors in a sandbox, but I like to let them play in the sandbox. And my job is just to keep them in the sandbox, uh, metaphorically, of course. And uh, David, as Adam, was the first time David was throwing sand out of the sandbox, and my instinct was to stop him. But I was like, ah, let's see what happens. That was the first time. <laughs> it was dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> It was the biggest mistake. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it was mistake. glorious. It was uh, so good. There's a lot of moments in the show. We'll, we'll talk about this, but a lot of moments where it was like me being like, ah, let's see what happens. Uh, it, was, uh, it was great. Uh, and one of those moments, because uh, Howard's next, but I'll, I'll, I'll preamble him with this quick story. You guys can thank Howard. Thank Howard for the uh, uh, Recky, my love of skateboarding line. <laughs> oh, it was a team effort. Because <laughs> we were like, there's the random pause in these flaps. What do we do? And Howard's like, I got this. <laughs> no, it was uh, it was mainly Alyssa, honestly. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Alyssa finagled. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Work. And uh, so it was it was wonderful. Anyway, Howard, uh, uh, what about you? Um, just because I'm it's sorry, my favorite anime. Uh, <laughs> you already said Prince of Tennis, which which I second, but uh, Kuroko's Basketball. Let's uh, see. Kuroko. <laughs> Hell yeah! yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like the third um, anime from the pick that I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think uh, some of us are in it uh, here, but yeah, uh, Kuroko's my favorite anime ever uh uh and yeah and i love sports if you have, if you have sports anime uh the dub was finally done like 10 years after the show started <laughs> and um wow yeah, uh, and i play like my favorite character in that Zeno's in it he's my brother it's great nice yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He's smart yeah <laughs> actually Kurgo was the the sports anime that got me into sports anime it was the first oh. one i saw hell yeah very good yeah Prince uh, of tennis wow. was the sports anime that got me into sports anime and then that led me to Kuroko. I was going to yeah, say, there's yeah. kind of a common denominator here. This is what, like, the third sports anime Sport? of the flown yeah. under the radar variety? There's... Yeah, yeah. Well, they Watch usually go under the radar. Sports, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch more sports anime, you guys. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> uh, we got Brandon Johnson. Oh, okay. Uh, so, actually, it was very recent and very cool. Um, so, Chris, he's... He's Eins Algone and Overlord, the, the Skeleton Man. Yeah, and I got to be a Skeleton man. man myself. And Skeleton Knight in Another World, his name is Ark Lalatoya. Mm. So that was super fun. Oh, wow. Just a, kind of a general isekai, but it was very comedy ridden. So a lot of good moments for jokes. And what I loved about him is because what I do on Twitch, I role play a lot. And that character itself, uh, he gets put in this other world. He's like, I need to put on a voice that like fits this night so he just like starts role playing as the night and i'm just like <laughs> having the two voices if that was just super fun for me and very fulfilling so i'm uh, there's so many freaking isekais out in the world it's just uh i feel like a lot of them kind of get flown on the radar but it was super cool because chris also you got the voice a basilisk that i got to slay oh yeah um, that's true in that show so that's it was cool. kind of cool that i got to well, thank you for you slaying me of course of course <laughs> uh, anyway. Are you still doing the GTA uh, roleplay stuff? Oh, man, a little bit. But right now I'm working on a completely independent project that's Ooh. been taking my life away for Ooh. the past month. But it should be really cool. So uh, I'm hoping that works out. If you want to see the best, what's his name? Johnny Silverhands? 
Oh god. <laughs> we just move on. We move on. It's a great he does a great job anyway. And Cyberpunk yeah, is only growing in popularity. That's true. The Edge Runner thing was pretty good, but yeah, there you go. I got uh, Keanu Reeves in my closet. What can I say? <laughs> uh, all right, we got Damon Mills. What's up? What's up? Um, Prince of Tennis for sure. Uh, I played Tokugawa in that. Kuroko's Basketball is also a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but if I had to add another one, and I'm going to, uh, Saint Seiya the Lost Canvas. I oh, really I loved uh, working on that one. It's on Netflix. I play Alone, who is also Hades. Um, it's beautiful animation, the story, the um, cast. It's just love it. You have to go watch. Wait, did you say you were in Hades? No, I said I am Plays Hades, Hades in Saint Seiya. Oh, Saint gotcha. Seiya. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm obsessed um, with that game, and I just got really excited. <laughs> sorry to disappoint But no, no, I'm super excited about this now. That's cool. I'll check that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, equally as cool. Equally as cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's cool. And then um, I directed a fun show called Suppose a Kid from the Last Dungeon Boonies Moved to a Starter Town. The wow. That's the name of the show, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And it's um, <laughs> it's a really cute show. Um, and it was my first one to helm as a director and cast it. And it was oh, right on. Cool. Very cool. All right, and finally, the crispity crunchity peanut buttery, Chris Wakeham. So, uh, in just actually, I'm glad we brought this up. In just a few days, there's a, a show debuting. A little tiny little show, not a sports anime. Uh, but I hope you guys will support this. You know, it's it's the show that could. It's, it's telling the story of some students, you know, that are in school and uh, oh, they've got some special seen. abilities, you know, and they, uh, they're they just trying to make their way in the world and do their best. It's called My Hero Academia. Um, <laughs> I heard it's yeah. mid. I hope you I, I, I heard it. I heard it ripping off <laughs> Disney's original movie, Sky High. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just give it a chance, you know. War and Peace um, Turk. No, actually, okay, so there's that. But, and uh, everybody check it out, right? But also, um, I got the chance to be a spirit cat in a show called Natsume's Book of Friends. And it's from 2008. This, this show apparently has been around for as long as uh, many of the fans of anime right now, like that are Don't probably say in the that. chat. Uh, I hate to say <laughs> it, terrible. People are like, 2008, that's before I was born. Is that 14? Um, Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> that's when I was born. So that's really quote unquote old, but yeah, go check it out. Uh, it's definitely got that dated, if you like the uh, more dated sort of character designs and uh, it's just a real sweet show and it's a, a really fun cast. We're having a good time. Chris, we work on Prince of Tennis, and you're calling 2008. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I know, <laughs> dude. Every time I talk about this show at cons, they're like, "Oh man, I need to." I've never heard of that. I'm like, "Well, it came out in 2008." They're like, "Oh, that's really old." I'm like, "Cool." Come out like three, and they're gonna be like, yeah. "Oh my god, I wasn't even alive." Yeah, <laughs> there are people. There are it's people in the, sh in the sh who voice in the show that are younger than the show, which that's is horrible. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's I mean, Saint Seiya. I want to die. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh that's cool it's not depressing at all uh, <laughs> all right let's let's kick into it uh the man the myth the legend holy murdy uh has a question and so this will be like for three of you random who just like feel impassioned about this and the spirit moves you the spirit moves you what has been one of your favorite things uh to sign for a fan Anyone? Before you guys do it, I'm, I, I gotta, I gotta dip out. But I, I love also you. Also have to. Oh, Zeno, stick on. Yeah. <laughs> Zeno yeah. and Damon on one question, then have to bounce. Peace out, y'all. Yes. Thanks for hanging. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Sorry. Zeno. 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 Love. Have a good Hi, one. Bye guys. And Take also, um, I will pop in the skate, the Infinity Discord later to just say hi. Sweet. There you go. Um, <laughs> I'll do that. Sorry, guys. I gotta go, but thank you so much. Cheers, Damon. Bye, Bye. Damon. Has been spared. Bye. <laughs> oh, whoa! And now we're like we're super what? Brady bunch. Yeah. Look at this. yeah. Now the things rearrange, and now I'm not next to Kyle anymore. I know. Uh, now me and Ryan. Now I'm stuck next Ooh. to Kyle. I can kiss oh, your head no. if I wanted to. I, don't do it, please. <laughs> do it. Don't. Do it. Don't do it. Please don't. don't. Do it. Please oh don't. my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so favorite, or I'll even, I'll addend this a little bit. Weird, fun, like goofiest. What are some weird things you've had to sign? I signed at Sec Anime this year uh, a plastic egg or half of an egg. I have okay. that egg. I do too. I still have, I have the other half. half of it. 
And so what? they had Jonah sign it too, and they had us put it together, and it was a friendship egg. And there's a video no on Twitter way. of us doing that. Wait, they and had you sign it and then gave it to it's you? Like an Easter egg, you know, it has two halves, yeah, but, right? Yeah, they gave it to us and they're like, you want to sign it, and then like, they gave us the other half to Jonah. I had the top half, Jonah had the bottom half. Take that as you will. Um, but uh, but yeah. Nothing to do with skate. Just a cool little thing to sign. Yeah, it was just funny. <laughs> okay. But there, I did, I got to sign a skateboard of of Mia's, which was dope. And it like I talked to them and it cost them like forty bucks to get made and it was pretty high quality. I was like, Whoa. that's really cool. Signed yeah. a lot of skateboards at this point. Yeah, uh, they, hey, they always have paper. Jonah's name on them already. No one else. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, uh, this is for Jonah. What was your initial yeah. reaction to the Joe and Cherry ship? This is from Sam, the Beetlejuice man. My reaction to it. Yeah. Uh, let's fucking go. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. I, let's I, I'm, fucking I'm go or let's I, fuck and go. <laughs> Fuck and go Why not both. Both. You know, scratch that. They're of age. Yeah, I mean, Bone Town. I. Yeah. Oh, is it family friendly here? But, like I said, I'm I'm all for it. I, I actually feel like we, uh, like the attempt to make it as canon as pot. You know, it, they were in a, they were in my mind they were in a relationship 100. percent Like they 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 at one point they were in some sort of you know romantic relationship, and I would like to see that explored a little bit more. I really do enjoy the dynamic that they have. I put the dynamic that they have into the comic that I'm writing for uh, my VTuber and like with him and another character. So like I that's how much of a fan I am of their, you know, they're bickering and arguing and then, OK, we're going to make out later. That kind of thing. I love it. Watch Blossom is real. I will say you actually just uh, brought up a good point. I feel like that would have been really uh, relieving because a lot of when people talk about ships, especially for those of us in My Hero, it's like. You kind of have to dance around it because it's like all these characters are all minors. So you're like, oh, it'd be really cute if they dated. That's about as far as I want to take it. Yeah. So was it like kind of relieving? Like, oh, these are two adult dudes. Like, I really Must don't have to be nice. Adult. Must yeah. be nice. I yeah. voice mostly adults. Yeah. I had I think I think Johnny Bolt, like canonically, like there's like a scene where it happens in the show in Super Crook. So like, yeah, I, I, I'm used to it. I enjoy it. I, I, I like to, to engage in that part of the fandom. Um, and yeah, as long as, the, as long as you follow the rules, it's good. That's you right. know, consent is key. It's great. I'm gonna go hang out over here by Guerrero and, and Matt. Oh. Oh. Um, what I do? I don't know which way you are, but hi. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I do have to, I, I want to admit something. I don't know if I've ever made this public. Uh. Uh, there, I have one regret with Skate the Infinity. It was a line oh. uh, uh, that Jonah ad-libbed. Uh, the episode oh. after uh, uh, Adam smashes Cherry in the face. Uh, it's the very beginning of the next episode. Cherry's like on the ground and Joe runs up to Cherry. And in the, the line was like, Cherry, are you okay? And Jonah said, babe, are you okay? And uh, I was like, "Ooh, yeah, that's that's a little too obvious." Like, ah, so we got something a little closer to, uh, to the copy. But I was like, "Man, I should have just freaking kept in the babe. Are you okay?" <laughs> yeah, that's my one regret. Yeah. I should have kept that in, and I didn't. It was like it was like, it was like one big flap. You know how they kind of like cover the flaps when they're running a little bit. It was just one oh, big yeah. flap, and I could I could put whatever I wanted in there. Yeah. <laughs> so but yeah, what? it's okay. Babe, the babe cut. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so that does exist on a computer somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Is, is Joe Some calling Cherry Babe? And I'm so sorry, everyone. I failed you. Maybe <laughs> I'll try and... and uh, we lost to the sequel. <laughs> uh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll just call him Babe in, in, in the sequel. There you yeah, go. Season two, baby. <laughs> Pisa, who says, uh, release the Babe cut. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like Phillip the one Scott, about yeah. the pig? Like the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Babe, yeah, 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 okay, that's what we're yeah, four babe, hour long. Babe replaces Longa, obviously. Sure, 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 sure. I, I am going to go to the bathroom really quick, but do it. just ignore me. Do it. I got I got a Bluetooth headset. I can hear everything you're saying. Wait, can we hear you peeing? Yeah, I hope we can't hear you. No. no. <laughs> All right. Uh, this will be, you know, any three people. What's your favorite thing about the characters you voice in the show? I think Jonah's answer is probably that he voices an adult. Uh, my favorite is the dynamic of the relationship between Adam and Tadashi and also just not really knowing too much about the character himself and just uh, I don't know I, I, I'm enjoying the little secretary getting dominated by, by David of all people he makes it very fun and enjoyable 
Yeah. Here, here we go. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take. Jonas. I'm just gonna say the same thing. Oh, <laughs> oh stop it! <laughs> oh God. Dude, you, you are like, mic, but... you are like, yeah. It sounds like you're entering the Matrix, Mr. Wald. Sounds like you're like. I don't know if. Uh... But I'm hoping that there's. My last microphone. I got problems with the new microphone. Oh no! Just Sorry, I left. Hey. I can mostly get what you're saying when you look yeah. towards the camera, and I can see your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm hoping over this here, man. a bit more of that because I love that dynamic and and the lines that Adam would play with. And the amount of times I was called a dog. I'm curious if that's going to be a recurring element in season two. Ooh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure will be. <laughs> uh, any other answers for what are you hoping to, I mean, uh, uh, what do you like most about your character? Definitely the, uh, for me, the duality of Shadow, because I know we're getting season two, and I don't know what they're all going to cover, but I'm kind of hoping everyone, you, you got a bit of their backstory, but I'm just like, why do you wear the mask? Or as the Joker would say want to know how i got my scars <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i'm really curious of how that great divide happened so hopefully that will uh come up in season two but i just love the back and forth of his personalities of being a sweet uh flower shop uh, uh cashier and uh, you know uh, a butthole clown <laughs> a butthole clown. <laughs> a butthole clown he's a butthole clown <laughs> yeah 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 there you go um <clears throat> anyway any other answers before i move on uh, for the sake of giving them another answer, I can give you one. Sure. Uh, I'm grateful that Reki is a complete character and not a self-insert protagonist. There you go. Yep. Because uh, there's a lot of those and they're a lot less fun. Uh, but I also really liked his journey of like, they, oftentimes the main character is the best at whatever the show is about and Reki is decidedly not. And I think that's an interesting uh, direction for them to go with it. So that was I, cool exploring that. I will say I do though I feel for Reki because I remember it was uh, I think early on in the show it was the start of the Reki is sad arc in the first season yeah, and seven. like <clears throat> Reki you know skates down he like does like a pop shove it onto like a grind and like kick flips off it and he's like yeah and then Longa just kind of goes up the ramp and everyone's like oh Longa and I'm like what Reki did was way more impressive than what Longa did but it's fine so I, I feel for Reki in, in that instance. Um, okay, so this is, uh, this next question is actually perfect uh, because, uh, disclaimer, I don't know, uh, none of us know anything about season two. Oh yeah, we should establish Just that. Just a disclaimer. <laughs> I know something about season two. What do you, yeah, what do you Coming. Is Tony Hawk gonna be in it? There's gonna be skateboarding. Oh, I, honestly, you don't know that. We don't even know that. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, we don't know that, yeah. <laughs> I know it, I'm calling it right now. You, you heard it here first. There will be skateboarding. Okay. I know. All right. Uh, but yes, we don't know anything about Skate Season 2. Uh, and it's uh, going to be Season 2 and an OVA, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we nothing about it. We know currently as much as you do. But this next question from Mayuka is, what are you hoping to see in uh, Season 2? What's like some maybe big moments, some conjectures, uh, maybe something cool you want to see in Season 2? I want to um, see snowboarding. That's, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Ooh, yeah. 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 Boys yeah. Snowboard. Yeah. Like either yeah, yeah. go to Canada or like go like to Northern Japan. And just snowboard. Longa teaches them all. That's yeah. Uh, that was my theory. My theory is that Longa has to go to back to Canada for some reason, and Reki goes with him, and then Reki's better than Longa at snowboarding. <laughs> it oh, would be no. really funny. The Johnny if tsunami Longa, hypothesis. If Longa <laughs> just forgot how to snowboard because it's just like the the skateboarding just replaced it. And just like yeah, he just doesn't yeah. know how to snowboard anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I know the, the the director of the show in Japan. I think uh, she said she didn't want to get the the skate boys to uh, to uh, not Japan. They live there uh, to Canada at some. Oh, point. okay. So, okay. So, so cast trip to Canada. <gasps> exactly. Yeah. Easier exactly. for some of us than others. But... Right. You'll have to tell me if the if the director in Japan said anything about this. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yes. yes. You said yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right okay. Now. Fantastic. So outside i know it's super outside my my hope is that we find out uh tadashi for some reason or another is the actual rightful heir of the of, oh, of shit. family fortune <laughs> and i suddenly there's a role reversal i'd like to see i spend a little time in the collar Oh, the switches, you speaking. know. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, so I get to you next the, the rightful heir of the family fortune. That's my bet. Why? <clears throat> All's fair in the that. relationship, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. The real snake. Uh, there you go. That's awesome. Any other uh, uh, answers for this? I'm not going to lie. 
I'm hoping that the ships become a bit more concrete. I mm. feel like the first yeah. season was skirting along so hard and like the dubbers were having to push it in there. Like <laughs> it seems so painfully obvious. Just do it. Yeah. You know? So Just make I'm out. Hoping, and kiss. I'm hoping that happens. And if and not, kiss. then I hope there's a plethora of opportunities that get greenlit. That <laughs> Isn't that yeah, kind yeah. of just the old trick of all sports anime, though? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Anime. Yeah. yeah. Like, hovers right on the precipice, <laughs> right on the edge, so yeah. you can dream about it, and then they never quite, yeah. never quite give you the payoff. Listen, you know, if they do it, I'm going, it. if they end up in Canada and they do that, I'm going to Canada. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'd go. also like to see there be a, like maybe a little bit of a time skip. Like I'd like to see everybody age up a little okay. bit. <laughs> you know, kind of see where everybody's at in life, you know? It's also like a very still... What if yeah, that exactly. aged you up to the point where you can't voice me anymore? What if No, Mia's I can like... voice Mia still again. I can still voice Wait, Mia. Wait, speaking of time <laughs> I have job skip. security. I, I can do it. Okay. I can do it. All right, cool, cool, cool. Kyle, I was about to say it's a very sensitive stream. You were here, chat. <laughs> yeah, who is going to replace me as older Mia? Hmm, let's go. Uh, let's think of our head cannons. Chris Wake can. I don't want to. Jameson Done. Price. No, I was going to say. <laughs> I was going to say cool. Zach Aguilar. That was my safe answer. Yeah, but yeah. I just but really he hope sounds the same as you. Bad in, in nah, he can go lower than I can. Have you heard <laughs> Zach's range? Yeah. I'm going Tommy Lee Jones. I think it's Tommy <laughs> Lee. <laughs> All right. No, that's what we bring in Tony Hawk for is to be old Mia. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I will say, I know the first season had a lot of, like, flashbacks, and I really liked seeing, even though I felt like it was a slideshow of of Cherry and Joe and Adam when they were younger, there wasn't really, like, I mean, there's a couple of scenes, there are I think, scenes, but, yeah. Uh, I, I would also like to see that explored a bit more to see a, a lot more into their dynamic as a, as a group and the fall through and all that jazz. So. And all that jazz. Yeah, I think yeah, in general, I want to see more of the, the supporting cast get the spotlight. Yeah. Um, because season one was definitely like Longa and Reki's story primarily and Adam primarily, but like, I don't know. I want to see more of Shadow, you know? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shadow yeah. especially. Yeah, I'm like, I saw that last scene. was like, oh, yeah, you got your eyes on Oka. I see you got a thing for managers, eh? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, speaking of Tony Hawk real quick. Uh, so you, uh, when they announced season two, I believe you all hopped on Jonah's stream and we're hanging out for a little bit. And then uh, someone in, in, who's watching sent me the video, and then I responded, and they made a compilation video. And when I was talking about it on stream, I was explaining the whole Tony Hawk thing, how I wanted to try and get Tony Hawk. And as I was telling the story, I had a revelation, and I was like, I should have just freaking got a cameo. <laughs> Did you just take in the audio from the game? Yes! yes. What, yeah. you know, an iPhone <laughs> mic? Like, what? I should have just gotten a cameo. There's gotta be some like legality about like appearance yeah. fee or something well, no, like that. Well, no. So it, there's there's uh, the personal cameo, and then there's a uh, business oh, cameo. Oh yeah, you can. Yep. <laughs> forgot you could do that. Yes. So it's a like, little bit oh extra, God. but I should have just freaking done that. Chris out hanging with no word. <laughs> you, you'd I, be locked into that because like I know it's like a flashback. You could put a filter over it so maybe yeah. it wouldn't sound so crunchy. But yeah. like if he has any more lines in season two, then you'd be locked into trying <laughs> nah, to get Tony no, Hawk he'd into be, a real booth. <laughs> he'd be replaced. He'd be replaced. Because at the time, the remember Tony Hawk impression. Yeah, yeah, that would have been great. But anyway, I, as I was as I was telling it, I was like, my God, I should have just. And I looked, pulled it up, and I was like, should have done freaking cameo. But uh, it's fine. It's fine. We're all we're all good. We're all good. Uh, no one has to answer this, but this is from Zaffy. What is Kyle like in the recording studio? Say the words. Chill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. Do it the way he would say it. Cracks a funny joke. He's got some pranks for you time from time. That's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know. There's we always were all something... home recording this one. Yeah. yeah. It, it, was, yeah. Um, it was a different true. environment. Kyle couldn't really yeah. afford to pull up that many pranks on us because this was COVID recording. That's true. Yeah. This is all remote, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Yep. I mean, we, this the, was... the catchphrase for Kyle in the, in the booth is just like, do it how I would do it. <laughs> you know, how would Kyle say it? You know, that's his philosophy. That. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> I remember vividly what you told me uh, the first day we started recording Kyle because we didn't know if Mia was a boy or a girl or not. And you you verbatim told me, if it's a girl, we're going to recast you. Sorry, bud. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I was like, cool, great, thanks. Oh, no. I don't even remember that. I don't remember we, yeah, we didn't Yeah, because we know. recorded the PV and episode two in the same session. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Adplex says it's PVs. 
Uh, serious answer though, uh, Kyle. I appreciate the uh, the amount of freedom you gave in the yeah. sessions. Appreciate it. Was, it was it was you gave us a lot of room to play, and that's a lot of where uh, some of our your, everybody's favorite moments came from is from that freedom. Thank Shout you. out to Rocket Swift in the chat who says Kyle paid those actors to say nice things about him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, in a roundabout way, you could say that's true. That's right. Yeah. This was his plan all right. along. Uh, no, and and I appreciate you guys. Uh, but that is, uh, you know, that's uh, I mentioned it earlier. I, I I know that there's some directors in there who like out there who like you know really have a stranglehold and like whatever. But I I, I don't. Why'd see... you look at me when you said that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> uh, I don't understand why why. I'm definitely not the most creative and smartest and best acting person in the room ever. So it's like, why wouldn't you open that up to a more collaborative process? And like, I want to hear your ideas. Like let's, let's together. And even the engineer sometimes if they're a, 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 a talkative engineer, you know, like let, let's all come together and create the best product we can. I don't understand why that's not everyone's MO, but uh, you know, sometimes yeah. it's not. Yeah, I think that's something Hallelujah. I appreciate with right. any director, and you definitely facilitate that environment of just open collaboration, which is dope as all hell. Oh, mm -hmm. dope as all hell. Okay, uh, I guess we'll call this the half the halfway point, maybe a little over halfway point. Thank you guys for sticking around. But at sure. this point, I do have a question to ask you. Here's another uh, another curveball. Uh, Damon, uh, da some of you have been asked this question, and Damon, when I asked him this question, he said, I'm too gay for this shit. Uh, oh, ah, okay. I know this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. So if you've there. already answered it, you can either answer the same, or uh, uh, or change it up, or feel free to uh, opt out. When we you started it... this stream and you were like, I ask the same question every time. I was like, the Spider Man question. Okay. Well, that's coming. That's that's yeah. That's, yeah. that's so we get things. So yes, uh, this we my community loves this question. It's called the Spider Man question. Uh, chat, are are you uh, down for the Spider Man question? I still need to pay for Damon's Yeah, give it to me. It's great. Okay, the Spider-Man question. That's why Damon left early. He knew this was coming. That's right. <laughs> um, so the Spider-Man question is, uh, imagine, uh, like Peter Parker, you get bit by a radioactive spider. Okay? Uh, also, like Peter Parker, you get uh, superpowers based on spider stuff. Uh, unlike Peter Parker, though, you get to make a choice. You can either choose A... To be able to climb on walls, stick to walls and stuff, but also like a spider, you are covered head to toe with tiny little hairs. That's how you're able to stick onto walls. So you look like Teen Wolf with a buzz cut all over. Um, or you can uh, choose to shoot out webs, but also like a spider, only out of your butthole. So... Huh. So we get to climb or shoot webs, but it's out of our ass. Yes. And the climbing makes you have, what, feelers all over your skin? Yeah, you have tiny hairs all over your body. And you can shave it, but like Tim Allen and Santa Claus, it grows back oh, man, very fast. All back. Yeah, that's... That's, that's that coming? definitely something. I think up. there's a new um, one coming. Or whatever. Yeah, there, there's a new one coming. Uh... I say butthole webs. Yeah. 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 I think that, well, here's butthole the webs. thing. Here's the thing. I hate to get technical here about the butthole webs, but uh -huh. like, how thick are the webs are we talking? Like, are we able to make our own like <laughs> web? Could I make like a hammock web out of my own web? Like, could I it's just start making? Can I hang your body? Then, will allow. Is it all on? Is it all that's what? It. Is it always on? Like that's it. It's just. It's just the no. web. Yeah. No. 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 You can like. All right. Time to. You can turn it on and off. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Time to, it's time to web. Yeah. Is it, okay, I thought like you'd fart and then all of a sudden you just got you web well, yourself. Right. As, you, as you get older, <laughs> yeah, as you get older, that might happen. Oh God! <laughs> oh shit! Control of I'm, I'm, I'm trying like, to rationalize. Strong? Are they like? like do, are the webs extra? St are the webs useful in any way? Yeah, like, yeah. Could you actually use them for something? It's like strong as steel, right? That's Spider Man's yeah, webs. That's are like Spider Man's yeah, webs. Right? Yeah. I'm taking the butthole webs. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine swinging through your local downtown, <laughs> spreading? <laughs> oh, go, go, go. Here's you can pretty think popular. About think, about it. Like, think about this. You can create like, a system. Like you're Peter Parker, you're smart, right? You can create a system that like has it come out still through your wrist. It's just no, no, no. You're not. Like, you're not no, Peter, no, no, Parker. Not Peter Parker. You're Ryan McKeon. You're Ryan McKeon. You're Ryan McKeon. Oh, I'm an idiot. Not then. that you're not that you're not smart. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm If you stupid. were Peter Parker, though, see, because he creates the web fluid artificially. <laughs> 
You don't need to create it anymore. You just generate it yourself, and you put it in your fucking cart freaking cart. Well, this is this is like Sam Raimi Spider Man. Yeah, like, this is Raimi Spider Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you so you would just there at there home, only... home just poop out a bunch of web and store it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, like that's logistically, little there are only bombs. benefits. Okay. Yeah, no, it's true. Because I'm trying well, to think, like, technically, like, does it come out of the one hole? Would like a new hole be created, or like, <laughs> I believe he said it hurt. For the sake of comedy, it's the same hole. Okay, cool. So would it hurt? No, I mean, maybe, but you get <laughs> used like, to it. Like, you can handle the, you can regulate the girth of the web, right? Right, yeah. I would imagine I would it hurts so. the like, It can be as hurt. big or as small as your body will allow it to be. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, this web the be... body limitation is what you're saying. I so do have more. the girth, the web girth. We still gonna get IG here? Like, is that I, gonna fucking... I have a very important question when it comes uh -huh. to like the, the crawling on walls. Okay, okay. So, you know, if you're falling, you know, you have the web, you get, catch something at an angle and it doesn't like yank you as hard. But with the uh, falling and you grab onto a wall, uh, I'm assuming you don't have Spider Man strength. So the momentum of falling and then catching yourself on a wall is probably going to break your bones. No, no, no. Or, you can, no, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, yeah. But also, <laughs> okay. if we're in reality, if you fall down and you catch the wall too hard or like too fast, what's to keep uh, whatever you're adhering to from breaking oh, off true. and then you continue the fall? Yeah. Magic. Magic makes it all happen. Well, okay. Magic. I'll make the, this Magic. implies secondary. You know power. Dr. Strange. <laughs> if you're Spider Man, you know Dr. Strange. Yeah, that's right. So <laughs> you can, you whatever you can make a phone call. Yeah. 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 Okay, Shout but out Magic to Megan D. Tortilla in the chat who says, This is why Zeno and Damon left. <laughs> <laughs> they knew it was coming. You know, Damon right. gave the best yeah. answer. I'm too gay for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Damon already he already answered this, yeah. Uh I think I have to go with the webs. Uh cool yeah. party trick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. seriously. Dude, like, check out what I can do. Like it's gonna red a party trick like you're yeah. doing a keg stand and then all of a sudden, like, hey! <laughs> Let me get the keg from upstairs. Here's my question then, like, so you have full control over it, right? But like, does, what about the other stuff that comes out your butt? Like, is there like a, you know? Do you have you don't have control, control over that, that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, what's your bathroom? Is it just gonna be covered in like, like little bits of web fluid too? I don't know. No, no, you're all I feel like the webbing good. would end up becoming like a, a reverse enema. You probably yeah. will never need to wipe again. I, I feel also, like you have two different oh, flaps for it. That's true. That's what, I, that's clean, what I was saying. Right? Like, is there like a second hole? Is there like a different flap? You said it's the same hole. Same hole. Same, 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 same hole. Same hole. Same, same hole. New organ. So, so right? would yes. there be times if you try to web and just you just shake? <laughs> 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 exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. All your death. How do I shit web? Yeah, if you're too drunk. Your arch nemesis, and then all of a sudden you just crap your pants. Yeah, but yeah. It's, no, it's like just a side yeah. thing. Like the web still totally comes out. It's just like, like off yeah. the side. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> no, like, I gotta deal with all this shit. Too yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. The Infinity is a good show. The answer is uh, <laughs> that is uh, incredible. Uh, okay. Uh, any. Uh, this is from Fridian Arts. What's up, Fridian? Any favorite uh, moments in Skate? Anything that really pops out uh, overall for the show? Episode six. Yeah. Oh, is that when they go to the beach or the hot yeah, springs? Yeah, they go to the beach. The hot springs episode, man. It's objectively the best episode in the I show. It's canon. It's hilarious. Everybody's at their funniest. Everybody's in character. It's just a good time before sad times. It's just so much fun. There it is. has some of the, my favorite gags in the show too. Like, <laughs> just the, it's such a simple gag, but it's like. When Recky's freaking out, it's just like, yeah, I mean, it's just like, you're totally skater, are you? Where you're like, no, I'm not. And then he just sh vibrates profusely for like a hard second. <laughs> it's the funniest, stupid little gag ever. And I just love it. There you go. Yeah. Any other? I feel answers? like no character grows and changes more for the audience than Shadow. I really enjoy Shadow's arc throughout the story. Uh, I like that you start off being like, man, I would really, I hope this dude dies like as soon as possible because he's just really cringy and he's an asshole you know but then by the end you're like this is like my favorite uncle that i've never i never had this guy as an uncle but i really wish i did it's your skunkle. it was like your skunkle. It was like a skunkle <laughs> yeah yeah mm -hmm. i i honestly thought he was just a villain of the week and a little yeah. did i know anybody know i, th I guess at the time's like oh he comes yeah. back and he's got this whole other persona so i was like oh it, ships are wonderful in chat in all caps says i hated shadow and now i love him yeah Aww. that's I, a cool character duality of man i love well, that it like it, the ch the 
turning point was like the other characters just being like, can you drive us somewhere, sir? Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. like they had recently like been butting yeah. heads with him and like been li in life-threatening situations against this man. They're He's like, throwing fire lit car. fireworks at children. Yeah. Like That's all it took. <laughs> all it took. No, no, it also took a little bit of blackmail, just a little bit. Right. Just, yeah. Yeah. just well, some like blackmail and lit fireworks. the amount of blackmail. Yeah. Yeah. On this mountain, we get to beat up kids. It's okay. As long as you're on a skateboard, you can bruise them all you want. Right. That's, right. that's true equality right there. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Everybody gets a chance. Any other answers for that question? Any other favorite moments that pop out off the top of your heads? I'm going to put one that's a little more out there is uh, the part where Cherry got smacked in the face because of the sheer shock value. I don't oh, think yeah. the show would go yeah. there. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. And just like... That, he's a that degree of like brutality, I'm like, I did not expect the show to do that, yeah. and that it, it, yeah, that was that was really, you know, for lack of a better word, impactful. <laughs> yeah. um, That's me, true. Damon's not here because he'd be all upset. And then he gets his like, he gets his like Professor X wheelchair. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, a lot of people uh, forget or did never knew. Like, so this was an original anime, so. Me and Chris had no source material. We had no idea what the show was going to be about, what was coming. We just had like an episode ahead of everyone else. So yeah, like you're just watching. It's like, oh, it's a fun skate show. Oh damn! Like yeah, that moment for sure. I agree. Was like, it's like oh, like that was a that was a huge moment. So I and I remember the first like half. Uh, you know, I don't know how much you want to go into this, but I just remember having conversations with Kyle where I was like, what is the infinity part? Where where? <laughs> Wait, are are we gonna go so fast at some point that we like go forward in time or something? Like, what is the infinity part? And then I feel like they sort of, you know, no spoilers, I guess, but they sort of answer that in their own way, sort of by the end of the season. And it was not what I was expecting. Where, um, where's Howard on this fucking? All right, bottom left of my screen is that, or is it the other? Yeah, no, oh, you're, you're, you gotta uh, go through. You gotta go through uh, me. Uh, oh yeah, body? do your thing. Is do it, your dab. Is it? I don't. I oh, can't different. tell which way yeah, I'm gonna go, do it on both go. sides. Yeah. Your, your, your right arm, your right oh arm God, is good. Watching my Disney right Channel. arm. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there, there you go. go. Hey, there, there you go. go. There it is. Hey, we did it. Nice. That's the there you go. go. You did it. Uh, yeah, uh, I thought it was going to be just all about skateboarding, and it, skateboarding was definitely the background of it. Well, that moment was also about skateboarding with your face. Yeah, this is true. Yeah. That's that's all yeah. Adam was trying to do. He's like, let's see if you can do all these this stuff on your with you. Yeah, see how versatile you are. Yeah, all I'm saying. That trick wouldn't have worked on Mia because Mia would be too short. Mm, that's true. The uh, the odd job uh, <laughs> effect. Anyone else excited for <laughs> Goldeneye? Hey, darling. Yes. And, uh, Ooh, yes. Goldeneye's coming. Wait, yes. they're remaking it? Uh, it's being ported it, over. Uh, Re-releasing. Yeah, yeah, oh, the game. It with multiplayer. Exciting. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Online nice. multiplayer. God, please don't remake Goldeneye movie, please. That's a great movie. Oh, yeah, so you don't need to remake it. Oh, I enjoyed it. It's a masterpiece. Yeah. It should stay there. Right. Yeah, this is exactly. true. This is true. Um, all right, so we got, uh, if you could voice the classic question, if you could voice another character in the show, who would you pick and why? Cherry. Why? And I, because it's, the, uh, we, uh, Damon and I are routinely cast in opposite roles because our voices are just a little bit different, but also like unique enough <laughs> that you can distinguish them at the same time. So I feel like that would be one of the characters that I could play, but maybe Shadow too. Okay. Ah. Shadow would be yeah, fun. Shadow just always seemed like such a fun character to play. And and just seeing the way he's animated and how expressive he is with literally everything, even when he yeah. doesn't have the makeup on, it just looked like a fun performance. Mm -hmm. so, I feel uh, like Longa's got a skunkle, and I would really like to voice his skunkle. <laughs> <laughs> so say, say roles were reversed for Ricky's mom and Ricky's dad. Ricky's mom was the one who died. No, I'm sorry, no, Longa. Sorry, I'm stupid. Uh, <laughs> um, I'd want to play Longa's dad, the live version of him, if oh. he sounded and was that. But that's a pure hypothetical because it's hard to place me elsewhere in the show. But for 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 shits and giggles, I'll say that. There you go. And then also I, Shadow. I feel like we shouldn't adhere to like what our voice types are because then that limits us a lot. Like like yeah. I was oh, thinking, yeah, I'm true. like he'd be a very different character, but I'd want to play Adam just because he seems like he'd be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, but. No fun. Wouldn't sound fun at all. <laughs> anyway, uh, David, uh, on stream, there's this thing called Blurp, and people can like play sounds from anywhere, anywhere. I think at least once a stream, the Mighty Taylor plays the Blurp of you going, "Oh my God, yeah!" 
Yes. <laughs> one of my favorite. So good. So good. The, the bitches, bros, and non-binary hoes is my raid notification. And we need. How do we top out. that? We have a second yeah. season. How do you top <laughs> that? Mm -hmm. I mean, it'll hold my beer. Yeah. <laughs> out. David's gonna mull it over. He's That's gonna right. mull it over. He'll come up. Oh, with improv. Speaking of, I keep forgetting to tell you guys. I don't know if you know. Uh, and there's one for each of you. We just gotta connect on it. What? I, I what? have. A shirt that says, hey, bitches, bros, and non-binary hoes. Oh, you no, do? Oh, no way. Way. But I got to move over and like, really? Wow. That's uh, so cool. So, oh, I love cool. that. Uh, DM yeah, me uh, and, I'll, yeah. and I'll send you guys one. And oh, please. Dude, or go to my that. merch store chat and uh, you can have one of these too. Uh, merch plug, merch plug. Merch plug. But like, <laughs> I remember I was like, I want that shirt. And I was like, surely there's a shirt where this says it on there. And I, eventually I was like, I'm just going to make it myself. That's like, yeah, an that's amazing like shirt. But yeah, you, eat, you, you, can all, you can all have one. Course. Thank you. Um, yeah, okay. Awesome. Thanks, man. Any other any other answers for if you could voice another character? Any anything there? If for... if I could do just a very terrible Patrick Warburton impression, I would want to do it as Joe. <laughs> uh, Jerry, <laughs> hey, 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 Rocky. back in my restaurant. You're a hungry little man, aren't you? <laughs> I've all good. my wine. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that'd be great. Uh, I don't know this uh, character. Jerry. Jerry. Wait, they got to do this. Peter. Uh, That's how Peter. I get into Patch Warburton. Hey, Jerry. Peter. Peter. <laughs> Peter. Jerry. Oh, I think, uh, think we need you and need to go out back and. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. I don't okay. think I've ever noticed before, but he sounds so out of breath. All yeah, the time. <laughs> yeah, right. he does. He does. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a fun fact: uh, Ian Sinclair for the character Toriko in the show Toriko, of which Chris Guerrero is the narrator. Uh, that was like basically, my first role ever. That was, yeah, it was great. It has been said. It was a great line. Yes. Uh, uh, he basically was just doing a Patrick Warburton impression for that character. Uh, <laughs> so check awesome. Toriko, a very unsung, very under the radar show is incredible. It's all about food. It's it's a great show to like uh become not sober uh and then watch because <laughs> uh, it's just all about food and unsober yourself unsober yourself unsober and then watch Torque. Unsober size. <laughs> yeah yeah all right this is from uh the baron of bits marcus wellner jonah what's it like voicing a himbo like joe and then voicing tatsu and house husband they have so many like the Venn diagram of them is pretty much a circle. It's like they have so much stuff in common. However, uh, I think I like Joe more than Tatsu, but like I don't want to play any favorites. Uh, <laughs> it's a skate panel. You can say you like Yeah, Joe you're on the more. skate stream. It's I'm fine. on the skate panel. I'm going to play favorites. But um, <clears throat> I like Tatsu because he doesn't he doesn't give a shit about anything, and he, he he's going to do everything he needs to. Uh, he cooks really well. Same thing as Joe. Joe cooks really well. And, uh, I mean, it's hard to, like, compare the two and, uh, because they're, they're from two different worlds, but I feel like they have similar personality. I think they'd get along if they hung out. Obviously, they'd swap recipes or something. That's, that's really cool. What is Tatsu from? What show is this? Uh, he's the house husband. He's the, uh, Tatsu the immortal dragon. He's from the way of the house husband. He's the... Uh -huh. It's on Netflix. House husband thing. It's on Netflix, yeah. It's you could watch the entire thing in like an hour. It's just a bunch of little five minute sketches. Oh, okay. Very cool. Yep. Um, all right. Uh now this is from our beloved chat mom, Nicole. This is called the pancake question. Uh very simple, very innocent. Uh in a stack uh, butt of three. Webs. My answer is butt webs. No, there's no butthole <laughs> webs. In a stack of three pancakes, uh, would you be the top, the middle, or the bottom pancake and why? Ah. Um, Why does this feel like there are other implications based on what you think? It, very, it sounds like it. <laughs> very innocent. I want to I be at the top because I feel like it gets the most butter and syrup is absorbed into it. It's true. You're right. But I do lift discreetly each pancake and then syrup each individual pancake. So hmm. See, for me, I just eat the, eat, like, I'll take a chunk out of the whole stack. I'll just, like, cut and just yeah. eat all of them equally yeah, at once. Yeah. Instead of, like, eating one at a time like a child. Um, <laughs> I used to do that as a kid, which is why I said it. So, I need a second plate for Shut my up. stack of pancakes so that I may eat them one at a time. Yes, uh, but uh, I honestly, because of that, I'm going to choose the middle one just because the middle one gets just as much love and it's closer to the top, but not the top because sometimes you put too much syrup and butter on there and it can get a little too soggy. Can you what have too much syrup and butter? Syrup and butter? Yeah. <laughs> 
What does that sentence even mean? Yeah, it's, I don't understand. I don't understand. This, You're a poor butter then. Sorry. Some people do both, and I'm like, what's wrong with you? My wife with waffles, she puts a little dollop of butter in each little segment of the waffle. Yeah. yeah Whoa. Hell oh, yeah. I didn't know that was a thing. It's kind of you that that a it. It's yeah. like easy yeah. to do that, but yeah. that's so decadent. It is. You could be eating during that time. You should be eating. <laughs> you should be eating. Uh, I feel other... like this question is a trap. Uh, <laughs> I'd throw away think... the pancakes and get some French toast. Cause French yep, toast that's the right answer. And... Or a crepe. Or a waffles, okay. Hotel waffles, if they're the right kind. Yeah. Slap. Have you have yeah. you ever had the Texas shaped waffles at hotels? Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Those hit. Those hit. Because it it's, so it's a little good. iron and it flips it over and all that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's just tough. hotel breakfasts sometimes just hit different. What yes, about you just can burn sausage? your own waffles? God, I feel like <laughs> I can eat all the time. Ruin someone else's waffle maker. Get it all over yeah, the right? counter. <laughs> But I don't have time. to clean this up. Put some whipped cream on it. This is going to be uh, a little bougie, but if you if you haven't been to England, I would go. I would plan cool. a trip only to have the proper, the full English breakfast. Uh, mm. I've been trying to get a full What's English full in English LA breakfast? for like a year. Don't they eat beans though? Yes. Darling, in LA, a full English, English means English. something entirely different. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd have it, well, but it's going to be pork again. and beans. No, well, no, yeah, you get oh, like bacon and, and ham and stuff. No, 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 it's got to be the brand pork and beans. Oh no, no, it's not sweet. Oh, yeah. They're not sweet baked beans. It's like it's different. They're not bushes baked beans. They're not then bushes. Make them sweet. It's, it's like, like fried like beans, toast, and ha so many carbs too. It's like toast and hash browns and yeah. like blood sausage and eggs and beans blood sausage. and oh, yeah, grilled blood sausage and... is good. Blood sausage is good. I That's love all sausage. I celebrate all sausage. I really do. Thank you, yeah, Farron Games too. in chat. Full English be the way for sure. That's right. Fine. I thought beans I, for fine. breakfast, though, when, bro. When Moriarty the Patriot came out, I made myself a full English breakfast. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> what, you like made That's it yourself? Favorite. It's like the hangover gear, yeah. right? Howard cooks amazing food. Can I have your full English breakfast, Howard? Yeah, literally, if I, I can make the full English. Is this the LA English breakfast or the... <laughs> I'll, I mean, if it's, I'll, I'll, I'll take both. <laughs> Howard, can you cook me a rich Englishman? I'd pay you a good price for it. <laughs> yeah, sure, <dude>. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's right. Only uh, billionaires only. Oh, billionaires only. Uh, this from Gerald Murray. Here's a fun, fun little question. What's everyone's favorite fall time activities? Oh, that's soup, wholesome. Soup, soup. My birthday, because it's in fall. When's your birthday? Oh, yeah, me too. Yay. I like my birthday. Saturday, October 1st. <gasps> what? Oh, no oh, shit. Happy, happy early birthday. Old. I know. Oh, I'm going to reach my fiscal peak this year. How old are you going to be? <laughs> I'm going to be tw that? turning 25. 25. No, your physical yeah, peak is 27. Baby. Oh, really? I've heard 25. Wait, you're an adult. Down... I, yes, I am. <laughs> your I'm brain is oh, finally God. done growing. Darlings, <laughs> you're all way off. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I. The thing is, I become like a true, true adult at 25 because then I can rent a car without them upcharging me to help all right. hell. Oh, that's right. You're 24. <laughs> yeah. What I are you know. gonna do for your birthday? Oh I have no clue. I I have mm. the, like growing up, I had this mentality of like like mostly in like high school and college because I was broke as all hell. Um, I didn't really know what to do on my birthday because I couldn't afford to do anything. And my birthday is in three days, and I have zero clue what I'm gonna do. Go play yeah. laser tag. With who? With Anyone the, with the, the kids. Air. Just like <laughs> bombard a kid's birthday party. A 25 year old. I'm gonna show. I'm no, gonna be like, hey, kids, it's my kids. birthday. Hey, I did that when I was 24, and it was it was a good time. Paintball's good too. If you ever go paintball during the fall, it's pretty fun. Uh, Kyle, fun. Kyle took me to Hibachi for my birthday. Ooh. This year, Ooh, that's, some good, that's uh, always a good time. It was right next door to the hotel too. Man, it was, great. it was very convenient. And I gotta say, Joe, I don't know if it's how it is out in LA, but like that hibachi, I was impressed. I've been to a handful. Oh, are you kidding, Kyle? You need to go to a, you need to go to like a, a five star hibachi. That was like, in my opinion, that was kind of a scuffed hibachi. Okay. <laughs> so to me, that was five star. I was like sitting there, like, my God, this is so good. This is crazy. They do tricks I've they never seen do before. The onion they always do the tricks. <laughs> Kyle, I'm sure there's do better the onion hibachi volcano. places in Texas. I've been to some, and they like they were pretty all right too. Because hmm. okay. you were in Orlando, you're in Florida. That's like farther. That's like far, far away from like where there are big Asian hubbubs versus here in Texas and like DFW, where there's like a lot more of that. I'm a simple mm -hmm. man. Yeah, I I have simple enjoyments. Same. 
Somebody gets out a train whistle and they make choo-choo sounds <laughs> while they're pushing the flaming onion across. I'm in. I'm, like, yeah. I'm down. <laughs> Let's go. But Immersion. No. That that Immersion. that steak was insane. Like I I could not believe how good that. It steak was pretty was. good. It was good food. I mean, it's hard to screw up a hibachi if you know what you're doing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, any other? So besides celebrating their birthdays, any other favorite fall time activities? I guess living in Texas, weather's starting to cool down. That too. I'd like oh, yeah. that. I live in LA, so it's like hot. It's 95 degrees. I went for a run. Like at the, I, I saw on the calendar, it's like first day of fall, and I'm like, oh nice, it's time to go on a run. It was. 103 degrees outside. <laughs> oh. I, got, I got I got a quarter of a mile in. It's like I'm gonna die. So I gotta go inside and like cool off. Here in the Dallas area, it is almost 10 p.m. and it is 80 degrees out. Woo! Hey, it's dark for like three up. hours. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Uh, it's cool. Yeah, uh, like I said, hype about making it, it's soup weather, and then you know it's uh, time to get those real fits out time to get those leather jackets those big puffy ones you know which ones you got in the closet it's about time to you know show them what you got i'm a short you get to in guard. texas you get to wear those things for about three weeks yeah in, like january yeah. so what i do to celebrate fall is um i hand wash my sweaters that i will not be able to wear because it's still going to be 90 and to December. torture yourself <laughs> Yeah, just to get feel in, something. In 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 Dallas, in, our fall activity is going outside and going. Remember, ten seconds ago when it was summer. Mm-hmm. Can't wait. Yeah. It's seventy-eight yeah. degrees instead. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. our fall. Activity. Sometimes a two-degree difference really can make or break your it day. It does. It really does. And then the humidity. Uh, uh, people, uh, uh, people. Uh, uh, oh, like the humidity, but. Yeah, I uh, I get excited for the fall releases. There's so many damn video games and shows oh, yeah. and movies. That's a good point. And like, yeah. they really stack the fall. It's crazy. Like, there's so much tech stuff releases. coming out. Uh, lots of in the chat for Skull and Bones, which I was incredibly excited for. Is going to come out early November. Just got delayed till March. That was the fifth time it was delayed. I saw. Yeah, uh, that was probably my most hyped game. But Modern God Warfare Two, Jonah. Yeah, dude, we're totally doing it. I, 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 it's out, right? I have to install it. It's, it's fucking beta, massive, No, right? it's not out yet. It's not out yet. Is that out yet? Okay. No. All right. I, I, there's so many things on my calendar right now, including like game releases and movie releases. Yeah. So when that comes out, I have to sit down and install it onto my, my SSD because that Modern Warfare on an HDD is a recipe for disaster. Yeah. Ooh, doggy. Did you play the beta at all? Anyone play the beta? I played a little Wait, bit of it. Is bit. it public? It was. It's done. Ah! En- enough to experience the classic modern warfare 2 uh voice chat mm. and lobbies <laughs> and, and lobbies lobbies right. are back baby oh my gosh it's there for the campaign <laughs> <laughs> the campaign's coming out uh, a week oh early, yeah i actually. love the campaign oh really what yeah, it's coming out a week early Gosh, it's oh, october sweet. 21st uh yeah anyway kimmy any favorite fall activities i want to carve a pumpkin i haven't done that in a while <gasps> I want to do that. Mm, Carve that's a fun. Pumpkin. That's wholesome. Yeah. That's fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's... I'll actually... Sorry, go on. No, no, no. You're good. Oh, no. I was just saying, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going to be home for Halloween. So I was like, actually, I could cover a pumpkin too. That's so sweet. <laughs> there you go. Right on. Yeah. Uh, all right. This will, and we'll actually turn this into something for everyone. Howard, this is from Charlotte. Howard, is there any place online where I can order a signed print from you? Signed print, um, I think the best place for a lot of people is Streamly. Um, I haven't opened my Streamly store in a long time, and I'm going to do that soon. So keep an eye out. Follow me on Twitter uh, (laughs) for all the updates on when Streamly is going up. Uh, Yeah. And then we we stream. It's called Streamly because we stream when we sign and get to see what happens. It's great. Yeah. There you go. Does, does anyone have any links they want to drop in chat? Oh, uh, I don't have a link, but can I can I can I throne myself for just a second? Oh yeah, yeah, do I, it. Speak, King. So, uh, on behalf of Kieran, who is not here with us as he is very very ill, who voices sketchy by the way. Yeah. Um, on behalf of Kieran, I'm working on a, a project with him, uh, my moderator Nathaniel, and a bunch of like artists who are currently probably in chat right now. Uh, and I'm going to be a VTuber sometime in November where we're going to be debuting. A lot of stuff happened in the last hour. A lot of like super high, pro- after I put that de- debut post out, 
I got contacted by a lot of super high profile people and they're like, you need to pump the brakes on this because we're going to try and do something with you. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I can't say anything yet, but uh, the VTuber is coming out with a full graphic novel. A, like, oh. you know, a, a multi-page full color graphic novel. Um, it changed from a comic book and went to like a graphic novel because the scope of the story is just that big. But please check it out. I changed my Twitch name. If you haven't seen it yet, it's twitch.tv slash alpha anarchy. I'm no longer Jonah Scoot. Uh, I'm going to be debuting my VTuber Whoa. here soon. He, I got the model today and it looks, <laughs> it's really good. Uh, but yeah, anyway, sorry. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Wanted to plug that. Mm -hmm. Any any other plugs? This is the chance. It's bigger than Merriweather. <laughs> I'll just say that. <laughs> I was about to ask. This is Vishojo, I think, right? Yeah. This is Merriweather. What's Merriweather? They're, they do comics for other VTubers. The VTuber side. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh, like True lore. RPG with Kelsey says we need to get David to stream on Twitch. We do. Yeah. That'd be chaotic in the best way possible. I, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> just David, you just need he to just show laughs. up to somebody's places and like somebody's streaming, just comment and commentate. Well, you know, the future is an unknown and strange and ever amorphous place. And I might end up in a stream somewhere at some point. You won't see me coming, but you'll know I will. Uh, <laughs> that's beautiful no i don't even i don't even know how to spell twitch i don't know like, it's just the more regular word <laughs> <laughs> i'm still yeah, playing video games right? from like the early 2000s which are still the new ones as far as i'm concerned uh -huh. i <laughs> yeah no i i'm happy to live outside of that little you're box. <laughs> you're a big, you're a big <laughs> mmo guy right what uh what are you playing right now I'm not a big MMO guy. <laughs> I just played an MMO a couple of times. I, uh, well, what was right it? Now I'm, right now I'm playing on a, a, a secret beta of a thing that I can't really talk about because it's too cool and secret. Oh. I was playing 14. I was playing. I was playing Ooh. Final Fantasy 14 for a Ooh. while. Um, uh, that was fun. I still jump in there every once in a while. Um, but yeah, no, I no, no. Don't describe me as an MMO guy. I'm like, I'm a, I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a connoisseur. I still feel like the greatest game that ever existed was Knights of the Old Republic. That's like, yes. uh, yeah, that's where yeah. it yeah. peaks for me. That's supposed like, to be coming out. It's supposed to be a remake of that coming. I think they can't. Yeah, I they might the fuck original it up. one. The, the Steve won Bastila alive. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think they can yeah. the remake of Knights of the Old Republic. I know. For now. For now. For now. Yeah. Um, well, here's if you guys uh, at chat, if anyone wants those uh, skate shirts, there's my merch store if you want to hop in there. But there's where you get my signed prints and whatnot. There you yes. go. A little self promotion there. Um, here's a little cross cross reference question. Another one from Marcus Wellner. Uh, uh, for anyone who's also in One Piece, which I'm sure is at least some of us. Uh, mm -hmm. How was the experience with such a popular and long show? And so, actually, I'm going to turn this into a One Piece slash Prince of Stride question. <laughs> Prince of Stride. Prince of Stride. Because that's been around. Oh, not Prince of Stride. Prince of Tennis. Prince of Tennis. Prince of Stride. That was before my time in this. Sorry, game. Right. What? what? Swing. One Piece or Prince of Tennis? What's it like being a part of such a very long-running show? I mean, it's cool as all uh, hell. <laughs> Like, uh, for One Piece specifically, uh, I, I had just done, like, Walla, which is all the background voices, and just a bunch of big characters here and there for, for a while. And then I get the I get the text to come in for, like, two hours. I'm like, oh, so that means I probably have a character. And this was, like, during COVID. And then I found out the character I play, Pika, who shows up in the Dressrosa arc, um, is, like, the best character for me in all of One Piece. Um because he's this extremely big built dude he's like a, he's like massive and he has like these powers where he can like turn to stone and like take over and create like stone monuments and you wouldn't expect me to voice that kind of guy right um but he's got the highest squeakiest voice imaginable and that's his character joke my and my roommate is watching one piece and we got to your character a few weeks ago and boy <laughs> howdy did that hit me like a big old sack of bricks i'm like that's why <laughs> what <laughs> yep and then uh he also has a laugh which i was like i get the voice of one piece villain who has a laugh like a distinct laugh i was like i can kind of i can kind of die happy a i little think i bit. saw a clip of, of 
What is it? What's the laugh? Yeah. Oh, it's uh, it's like. <laughs> oh, it's not laughs at some point. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Just no, they, they make a joke at it about they like make a joke about his laugh like verbatim. Like Zoro calls him like, "What the hell is your laughing?" He's like, "Well, there's something wrong with my laugh." <laughs> That's awesome. But that that was that was such a fun role, and it was full of laughs. Like every time we would do something like a reaction, we never knew how it was gonna sound because it, it sits in such a high place. So it was just like. Every no matter who I worked with, and I worked with like three, four directors, because at that point they were just crunching down on one piece. Yeah, we we were just like it was always just a laugh. I do a reaction and be like, ah! and just be like, okay, that's just great, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so but we had to keep working. So but uh, but being in one piece was really cool. Also as a fan and Prince of Tennis, I never thought I'd be in a show I watched growing up. Uh, and then I'm the main character of a long-standing franchise. I'm like, ah! there you go. Yeah. Any other comments on on this question? I uh, I got to voice Katakuri, and he is, and it still is. But who is not a straw hat? But my my favorite character in the show is Zoro. But uh, Katakuri is my second favorite character in the show. My favorite character who's not a straw hat. And getting the opportunity to audition was amazing, but then actually being cast was doubly so because I like Katakuri because he is like the definition of an anime villain that just shows up and is like there and it's like a brick wall in the way of the protagonist so they can discover something about themselves. And that's like Katakuri to a T. And I have for the longest time wanted to play just the anime villain of all anime villains. I just wanted to use the voice that I've been using since I was like doing stupid stuff with my friends backstage in college, like stupid voices we would do backstage to warm up. And uh, Katakuri was one of the voices that we used. It was just this anime villain protagonist, like I'm better than you voice. And uh, holy crap, if you told 13 year old Jonah he would get to be an anime villain when he grew up, he would tell you to <laughs> shut up and go back to playing uh, uh, Knights of the Old Republic or something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I love I love One Piece like a lot, um, and Sanji is my favorite. Star. Yes, uh, yeah, that's so a good choice. Playing playing one of his brothers and getting to to beat him up was was probably one of the coolest things. It's yeah. like oh, I don't awesome. for a lot of stuff I don't get like I don't like fan over it a lot uh, anymore. But like when I, when I was working on One Piece, I was just like, ah. like <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm glad. Uh, uh, I don't know if uh, those of you in it are like getting the the love at like cons and stuff, but like. I feel like One Piece is like finally getting its like its dues, like because for the as, from the behind the scenes, it's like oh, One Piece is like falling off, like uh oh, it's it's not popular at all anymore. No, it's popping off right now. Yeah, it yeah, really it feels like it's like off. soaring, which is so Cause cool because it is such a good show. Movie. We got yeah. the One Piece Red movie coming out soon. Yeah, that's like coming out like very soon. November fourth, right? if I remember November correctly. 4th. Three days Take after Ryan's birthday. Think. No, November. Oh, November 4th. Never October. mind. A month in the like October 28th <laughs> for the, the, the panel. <laughs> yeah, October 28th. Uh, guys, be here. Yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, this is for... I just want to say one more thing. So, yes. uh, it's, always, it's always tricky and interesting and awkward sometimes when you take over a character for another actor. Um, and I sent I sent this to Howard. I think I forget where I was, but I think I was in Colorado Springs, and this person brought in an art book. It was a beautiful Prince of Tennis art book uh, with uh, an autograph from Yuri Lowenthal, the original uh, voice of Atobe. And uh, she's like, you know, I'd really love to get your autograph on this too. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and so you know, I love I love. I've never met Yuri Lowenthal. I think he's amazing. Um, just like that's this is so cool and uh, didn't really I took a picture I was like do you mind if I take a picture of this I want to send it to the director uh, I think he'll get a kick out of this and so I sent it to Howard and I was just like wow that's really cool what a cool art book what a cool moment yeah. and then going back <laughs> going back to the hotel room uh, I'm just flipping through Twitter and there's this person and she has posted on Twitter she's like at Chris Waycamp, at Yuri Lowenthal. So happy to get both of your autographs <laughs> on this Prince Dude. of Tennis art book. I'm like, no! <laughs> oh, no! Yeah. So now, um, whereas before I was super looking forward to meeting Yuri Lowenthal someday, now, and I and I sort of 
monitor the tweet for a day where I'm just like, is is he gonna say is he, is he gonna like it? Is he gonna like? It? <laughs> he never he never did. So I'm like, okay, maybe he never saw it. Maybe it doesn't exist in his mind at all. Uh, sort of hope it doesn't. Next thing you know, I mean, he's gonna be it, like, yeah, I helps. remember. I if, it, if it helps, I heard Yuri was like the chillest guy in the world. So I always like to keep. Oh, Yuri's heard, heard good things. Super heard cool. The same. Only interaction I ever had with Yuri Lowenthal was him coming up and telling me how good of a job I did in Super Crooks. You should watch Super Crooks. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Gerald Marie says, "Here lies Skin Bed Way Camp." Hey. Skin Bed? What is Man, that? That's mean? a throwback. That's a throwback. Uh, skin bed What's wake camp. Uh, that was the same stream where also the camp pussy came out. I believe. Oh my god. Wait, whoa, 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 what? Eh? Do, is it going to take the rest of this panel to explain though? Probably. Or? The two so... criticisms. I don't know. Everything was ussy and and Chris just dropped a bomb. It's fun. <laughs> we have fun here, guys. Yeah, it's great. This is this is great. <laughs> uh, speaking of fun, this is from June Wales, uh, a aspiring marine biologist says. What is your favorite marine animal? Yes, I will judge you for your answer. Do penguins sharks. count? Do what count? Penguins. I think so. Penguins. Penguin. Penguins. 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 Macaroni yeah. penguins are so cool. Macaroni penguins. What's a macaroni? Yeah, they're the penguins. ones with the eyebrows. They got the little yeah the Surfed eyebrows. Up. I thought there was yeah, like an emperor yeah, penguin. Those are those. <laughs> those no. Are they call macaroni penguins? penguins. I don't know if that's yeah, what they're yeah, called. Right. But... No, you're right. No, you're right. I think okay. it's macaroni. Oof. I've never um, heard I'm of a shark because my girlfriend's favorite animal in like existence is sharks. So I'm just gonna please her and okay. say sharks. Yeah, even sharks, though they terrify probably. me. I'm going octopus, like the big kind that could take out a whole Viking ship. Oh, <laughs> oh kraken! Nice. Yeah. Your favorite yeah, marine animal is kraken. There you go, marine animal kraken. Ooh, um, no. um, Can I say megalodon? <laughs> Is anyone, I was going to say, is anyone on Megalodon TikTok? There's a whole subsect of TikTok that oh, people think dude, the Megalodon is real. The shark tracking? <laughs> of course there is. Oh, man. <laughs> but how does it dude. swim around a flat earth? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> That's great. That's wonderful. Uh, I personally am a crab guy. I like crabs. Great. Oh, great crab's crab. a good answer, too. I like crabs. Um, the pistol shrimp, the punching one, mantis. the one that punches mantis. shrimp. It's the mantis, mantis, mantis shrimp. shrimp. Okay. Yes. Uh, but yes, punching so hard it can bust the water and instantly kills most things and would probably break your fingernail or your your finger at that point. Wait, they what? At the joint. Yeah. There's yeah, a shrimp dude, that punches. Yep. Pistol. Yeah. Oh my god. M yes, mantis pistol shrimp. super crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta look this up. Pistol shrimp. No mantis. mantis. I, I call it pistol because oh. it punches like a gun. I do like a pistol whip. Mantis shrimp. What? And yeah, they do concussive yeah. blows with their like claws that disorientates. And sometimes uh, yeah. they can cause a flash of light. What? Mm -hmm. Nature's terrifying, Kyle. They like all know. <laughs> as a shrimp, they huh. they can also see more colors than we can. They that's have not wild to think about. Right? They got oh, like cool, some crazy eyes. I, I forgot what they how they explain it, but it was it was nuts. What? They have nuts for eyes? No, no, I'm yep. saying it was <laughs> nuts. Oh, oh, it was nuts. An expression. <laughs> nuts for eyes? Wait, how do we harvest them? Really buried the lead. Nuts for eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I would say Kraken. I think Kraken's pretty cool. I mean, uh, that's legit. It, those things, sometimes you see photos and I'm like, that's photoshopped. That can't be real. But like, I think they are real. I think they're like these, I think they're enormously huge, like unbelievably huge. I think Loch Ness Monster's cooler. Mm. Ooh, oh, I, should, I should have said the, Loch Ness Monster. Well, the Loch Ness Monster. Monster. I didn't know we could do cryptids. Loch Ness Monster is just a, a whale wiener. You know? No, it's not. It's its yeah. own thing. Shut up, Kyle. No, it's a whale wiener. <laughs> no, they but figured the dinosaurs it out. that look like La Nessie, you know, the, with the flippers that look like Lapras. Yeah. Cool. The Leopleurodons. Yes. Is that the name? Yeah. What? I'm just yeah, going to trust it. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, can we get a quick happy birthday to Julianne Hobbs, who turned 26 today? Oh, happy Julianne! Birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy here with us. Happy, happy birthday, yeah, Julianne. Thank you. Thank you for spending it with us. All right. We have time for one last question. One last question. And this will be everyone answers. It's a very important one. 
This is from Gerald, Gerald Marie. Uh, and it is bread and butter pickles or dill pickles. Dill pickles. Dill. dill. Neither. Dill. Yeah, I'm dill. not a pickle man. Not a, not a pickle man. Not a pickle man. Kimmy looks pickle, like she has a lot to say. To I do. I've been on a pickle hunt. Uh, this is really, really serious. I've been on a pickle hunt for the last month. I've had approximately uh, 15 jars of pickles of different flavors and kinds. Yeah, I'm still Damn. trying to find my favorite. But spicy. Have you chronicled this anywhere? I I have on Twitter, yeah. Okay, okay, good. Because <laughs> I, I just, I don't know where to go. And I wanted to find a pickle that I really, really enjoyed. And so far, uh, yeah. The sweet and spicy. Uh, there's a fiery heat bread and butter pickle. That's really good. Don't wrinkle your nose. No, that's not very nice. I like the spicy, <laughs> but the bread and butter. But bread and butter. Just the sweet together. and the heat. And then they're together. It's wonderful. I mean, I try it. You can't really have a bad pickle. Like, if you like pickles, there's not really a bad pickle. Have you ever uh, eaten that Twisted Root Burger? Mm -mm. They have, like, a whole buffet of different kinds of pickles. Where, where is this? <laughs> uh, there's, there's like, couple. three there's or four in the area. I think there's one yeah. in Plano, I want to say. There's one in Plano. I think there, there's, yeah. there's one in Louisville. The one in Carrollton shut down. Oh, yeah, it did? Yeah. Yeah, it's replaced by some Mexican joint. That's just okay. Yeah, because we got Deep Ellum, uh, yeah, yeah, Old Town Carrollton, I believe, or uh, near no, Farmers Branch, Louisville, Louisville, Louisville. Louisville uh, yeah. one's the one that closed down. It's the Old Town Carrollton oh. one that's still. Oh man, that's okay. Old Town Carrollton, okay. It's Old Town like Carrollton. Two intersections still up. away. Uh, you and you've never been at uh, Twisted Root. No. I mean, great burger. So they have like. You'll go there and it's like, what burger? You can always get the normal burger, but then you can get like ostrich burger and buffalo and like weird burgers. Yeah. But then, yeah, they have like four to six different kinds of pickles, including what? sweet and spicy pickles. So, thank yes. you. Bookmark. <laughs> and yeah, it's really good. Uh, go check it out. Uh, David Wald, I feel like, has an interesting pickle opinion. Uh, I, I don't know if I can share it on this stream, sweetie. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Um, I'm not sure. It's okay. What's your pick opinion? I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know the difference between pickles. I don't know what the pickles, I don't Me know. Too. They're all bad. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know a bread and butter pickle was a thing. That sounds like a really dumb name for yeah. pickle, to be honest, but yeah. <laughs> They're so I thought the bread and butter picker, pickle would be the dill pickle. Well, it's my understanding that the pickles have, like a bread and butter pickle is meant to be put on a sandwich, which is gonna have other things on it that will give other flavors. Like and bread. like a dill pickle is meant to be, you know, uh, as like a side or, or or something it's like it's they, they 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 have their different functions but i don't speak the language of pickles okay um so i don't really know what the difference is among them all but like i i'm not like i got a problem with vinegar i kind of like steer clear of anything that's too heavily vinegared i just find it an unpleasant place to be <laughs> okay <laughs> so pickles aren't really my thing Wow. I like dill. I like bread and butter in life better than I like dill in life. Like altogether, if I'm gonna have a thing, I'd rather have bread and butter than a, a handful of dill. So if the same is true of of the world of pickles, no, I'm probably gonna prefer a bread and butter no. pickle. No, bread, bread and butter. Wonder, bread and butter pickles. You can't translate pickle no. to real in a one to one. Only, only because bread and butter pickles are basically just sweet pickles. It's just sugary mm -hmm. pickles. Oh, mm -hmm. sweet pickles. That yeah. sounds lovely. Well, no. I gotta give a shout out for my favorite sweet pickle, Kool Aid pickles. Whoa, 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 what? What, what are pickled. what? What? Which which flavor Kool-Aid is this hmm. pickle? Uh, well, of course Purple. you got the classic fruit punch, but uh, sometimes I like what? to uh, make my own and make pineapple pickles. What? Pineapple Kool-Aid pickles? Uh, some, I've niche? done it with Kool-Aid. I've done it also with uh, the actual juice. Um, and I've only had it one time. Not my favorite uh, grape juice pickle. What? I can see how that would be good. Honestly, because grapes have that kind of musk that like, <laughs> that like funk sometimes. I see you creating these things in like a laboratory with like Tesla coils. <laughs> I, I see you pulling the it from the back of your fridge, <laughs> opening it up and being like, those are, uh, I guess they're Kool-Aid pickles now. Like, <laughs> You just put a packet of Kool-Aid into the pickle jar? 
I just like uh, to say sometimes, uh, but also you can, uh, and he, I mean, it, in Texas, you just go to the like uh, most convenience stores, or and not most, just some, and what? just get them at the you know their prepackaged, and be like, okay, I got myself a fruit punch pickle. Wow. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? <laughs> uh-uh. Yeah, that is news to me. I'm I... calling your bluff on this, sir. <laughs> what the hell are you on? Are you no, no. Fire? I'm sure you can get this at like uh, at Texas fairs too. Fruit punch pickle. Fruit punch pickle. Matt is looking it up. <laughs> is it weird to anybody that pickles are just cucumbers? Like I remember the realization when I was a kid. Yeah. Like I almost remember the day where I was just like, I hate cucumbers, but I like pickles. What? These are these are just cucumbers. <laughs> It's the vinegar. That's the same I, thing about ketchup. It's very weird. Great value. It's uh, Walmart's brand. You can get fruit punch pickles. You're you serious? Oh, what? Wow. If you, what? Yes. Is that regional? Oh, it's probably. I don't know. I feel like anything you get in Texas, you could probably get in I'm LA. disappointed in humanity. <laughs> no, I'm going to buy these. I, I try it. I try it at least once. That's yeah. adorable. The name's a pun. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. No, for me, the king of pickles will always be best made pickles. Best made pickles is where it's at. Best made dill pickles. I like Vlasic. Oh, oh, they're too Vlasic. they're too soggy. They're not crunchy enough. I like uh, the name Klaassen is so off putting. It's good. Yeah. Clausen's crunchy, but I don't like the flavor. No. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, but Walmart. I've never had it with Kool Aid. Maybe that's what I need to do. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Walmart's assorted snow cone flavored dill pickle. <gasps> Damn. No. What? Whoa. No, yeah, I, I want them all. Hmm. That's unholy bearing. I want to try As a those. culinary student, that is incredibly wild. <laughs> <laughs> Almost <laughs> offensive. That's full uh, extremes, just extremes nah, of astronomy is extremes of sweet, full of experiments. I would that's, try that's it. That's true. That's true. I want to try Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. It, the fact that it's Walmart doesn't surprise me, honestly. They How y'all feel audience. about pickled garlic? Yes. Yes. Like pickled garlic. Garlic goes yeah, it's hard. good. Yeah. Pickled uh, garlic's great. I like garlic like anything, onions. pretty much. Pickled anything. Uh, there's if you ever are driving from Dallas down to Austin or through Austin, you have to stop by the check stop. Yes. Uh, ah, and yeah. at the check stop yeah. are the best pickled eggs and pickled pig's feet. Yes. Dude, Pig's feet. It, every time I go to the check stop, I'm like, how does everyone know this one little place off of a gas station, off of a small <laughs> exit? Like, it's not some yeah. big thing. No. It's yeah. just some, like, size it's store. It's been there for, like, 30 years. Yeah. It's been there forever. It's incredible. I think it's the same check, literal check family that, it that is. owns and runs it. Probably. It and it is the most delicious uh, little Danishes and, or not Danishes. Oh, the, yes. Oh, oh God. Be. Why does every stream devolve into me wanting to eat food at like 11 o'clock at night? Dude, I'm, yeah, I, I have really like four jars yet. of pickles just I'm waiting. Just like, <laughs> y'all need to stop. That's fine. Okay. Well, speaking of, we'll wait for Jonah to get back officially to end it. But because we could, we probably could talk for food. He can hear you. About food he forever. You. He can. He Jonah, when you're ready. <laughs> you knock um, on the wall if you're safe. <laughs> but real quick, uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll end this panel. We can, like I said, we could talk forever but uh we do uh they've already stayed for so long i really appreciate you guys coming on and i know chat did you appreciate everyone uh coming on here for this for this panel oh they say no no, no not really terrible. too much too much, no. too guys, much food guys, talk you guys they came here for the pickles take all the time they dedicate to the no. dub back and just oh. suck. subs no. are better than dubs selling my cancel coffee. season two yeah. <laughs> yeah they're gonna actively veto the season in yeah that's right um well so before you all depart any uh upcoming uh events signings uh streams show like anything coming up you want to you want to push out there for people to go go check you out at not really no same I guess got something to share more so so i've been working on this project for the past month i don't know if you guys have ever played any sort of telltale games or uh yes. butterfly mm -hmm. effect style games where your choices have consequences or impacts and stuff. So I'm working on like a live action production of something very similar to that. Ooh. So, right. And depending adventure. on how that goes, cool. hopefully uh, things go well and I can fund something a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah. Get more yeah, people dude. involved because that's what I'm all about. Put it back into the creativity, you know? Yes, mm -hmm. sir. There you go. 
Um, I guess the only thing I can plug is uh, I also stream on Twitch, as does Jonah. Uh, currently, my URL is twitch.tv slash so just my name. Uh, but I am also going to be transitioning to VTubing in the future. I don't want to stay near because I'm moving in like two and a half weeks and I can't afford to make the full transition just yet. But next year. Uh, but I do have a little PNG that I put up on screen of my of my dude. His name is Zeph. So you can get a little sneak preview of what he looks like and stuff. And I play games go. and we just hang out and stuff. And we've dropped uh, the relevant uh, Twitch uh, channels there. Twitch channels there. Yo. There you go. Uh, any other upcoming stuff for anyone? Hey, what are you doing for Halloween, guys? Uh, come see me in San Antonio for Halloween weekend at uh, Big Texas Comic Con. My calendar tells me I'm going to be there from Friday the 28th through <laughs> Saturday the 30th. And, Hell yeah. Uh, if you come out and uh, you reference this panel, then I will ask security to escort you out of the venue. <laughs> <laughs> Every lucky patron. Uh, what if they come up to you and they're like, oh, Tony Hawk. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Get out of here. Yeah. Free autograph. Yeah, sign yeah. Tony Hawk uh, uh, headshots. That'd be awesome. Eight by 10. Uh, the weekend before that, you'll find me at a con that I literally just signed a contract for that I can't announce yet, but it was a last minute thing because the con I was originally going to go to that hey, weekend please. is going to be canceled. And my agent is awesome. Was like, well, let's go here. And I was like, okay. So that's a fun plug is I can't tell you anything about it yet, but uh, go to my Twitter. And the second I can announce it, I will, but it's the weekend uh, right before Halloween. So there you go. Any other, any other plugs? Uh, follow me on the Twitter. I yeah. post art. I post cringe. I post all the entire spectrum like of emotion. That's right. Have you posted so, a Kool-Aid pickle yet on your Twitter? Oh, there no. you go. Just but it. I will. Now that, that is content. No context. Just I, I would. I would subscribe. No and one day, one day, I told myself I will post my video of ranking all the chicken tenders from major uh, restaurants <laughs> or uh, fast food establishments that sell them. Ooh. So keep an eye out for my tender reviews in the future. There you go. Someone please make fan <laughs> art of the skate cast as different flavored pickles. <laughs> yes, please take it one just thing away pickle. from this. There just make go. me the green pickle. Yeah, there's colors already. That already lines up. You, you get it. We have snow cone pickles. We're good. Ah, uh, licorice a, pickle. A dead pickle. <laughs> <laughs> a dead pickle. But on skis. <laughs> yeah. A dead pickle once. In the snow. Oh, no. Uh, pickle jerky. <laughs> That's great. Well, uh, everyone, thank you so much for, for coming on. I'll catch you later. Uh, everyone, please follow them everywhere right now go right now we're not actually we're not going to end the panel till everyone in this chat has followed everyone on I all better see another 422 two. followers yeah on my Twitter. If, I, if you guys are already following me unfollow then refollow so that way it counts oh there you go, there you go. don't do that for me because it'll scare me it's a lot of <laughs> please 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 uh all right y'all i'm gonna i'm gonna uh Go to my ending screen. Uh, guests, thank you so much. It was great talking with y'all. Thanks for having and, us. Uh, yeah. Organizing yeah. the yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will see y'all around. Oh, seven. That's see right. Peace. peace. Deuces. The one piece. <laughs> Kyle Filler smells like daisies. Oh. All right, y'all. That's going to do it for our panel. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had fun. Uh, I hope uh, you learned some things. I hope you laughed. I hope you cried. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the shenanigans. Uh, if you liked the shenanigans and you like the general vibe here, remember that uh, I go live three nights a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday nights, and then uh, uh, Wednesday during the day. So my next stream... Normally, I would be showing you exactly what we're doing, but uh, uh, that is actually up to Holy Murdy, who's going to be picking uh, uh, the game that we play tomorrow based off of a a, a poll, a straw poll. Uh, hey, nice, nice crow, nice crow. Uh, Sunday night, we're going to be playing Smash Bros. And anytime I play any multiplayer, uh, anytime I play any multiplayer games, you are all invited. You and you and you and you and you. You are all invited to play with me. So if you play uh, Smash Bros, if you play Mario Kart, Mario Party, Crab Game, Fall Guys, I play a lot of multiplayer games, Call of Duty, 
if you are all if you play any of those games and you see me go live and you're like hey oh kyle's playing uh uh kyle's playing uh halo kyle's playing halo infinite know that you are invited to play with me with us with my community we call it the family uh so come play with me um Sunday night Smash Bros. Tuesday night we are playing uh, Mario Odyssey, so that's a rare example of me doing a single player game, but I like just hanging out with you guys and you can, of course, can help me in backseat game a little bit. Uh, that's gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, Cult of the Lamb. That's my noon game. Cult of the Lamb uh, is gonna be on Wednesday, next Wednesday during the day. Uh, uh, so come uh, come try to join my cult, Cult of the Poop. That's right. Uh, and what am I doing next Thursday? I don't remember. Something next Thursday. It's going to be real fun. Anyway, real quick, though, uh, I'm going to end real quick. Uh, but, guys, I, I was seeing the the follows and the cheers and the subs uh, uh, happen as... Uh, hang on one second. I have to pause stream for some reason. Uh, I guess, sure. Um, really appreciate the, uh, follows, the cheers, the subs. I missed them all. I try to, I try to, uh, uh, shout them all out, of course, as the stream is going. But whenever I've guessed on, I like to make sure it's absolutely entertaining, primary, uh, uh, priority for you guys. So, uh, I, I, I can't really shout those out, but, uh, I, I see the cheers here. I mean, uh, Gay Blade ETM, thanks for those cheers. Bree77, uh, Gay Blade some more, Bree77, Julian uh, Hobbs, thanks for that sub. JK Alexander, thanks for dropping five gift subs. I'm skipping around. Ben Oscar, thanks for dropping one to Ryan McKeon. Uh, Recky, my love, yeah. You guys, you guys are incredible. I had a great time. Hope you did too. Um, and like I said, I do these once a month. I try to theme it for a show or something. I've done like a cosplayer panel. I've done One Piece, My Hero, of course. I'll probably do, I haven't done a one, My Hero one in a while if you're a My Hero fan, so uh, keep it out for that. Uh, Zooks, thanks for the tier three five months. Is that, are you a new tier three or have you been tier three? If that's a new tier three, dude, you get, we'll, we'll sort it out tomorrow, but you get a postcard a doodle from me you get a uh a selfie from me you get a whole bunch of stuff for tier three but uh and speaking of uh for all you new uh tier three or uh, all you new subscribers uh, including prime vicindi thanks for that prime sub mina tweak thanks for that cheer sam have a good night see you tomorrow uh prime let's see what is i've already got the uh october uh sub benefits um laid out so actually this saturday night if you are any subscriber prime tier one two or three it's movie night we're doing a halloween movie this saturday night in the discord so make sure you uh come hang out kyle are you gonna upload the vod for the my hero season five panel from last year oh if it's not there then it does not exist anymore sadly it might be privated at the moment uh but i don't know interesting yeah thank you there's my youtube link what time? It'll be like 8.30. This Saturday night, movie night. Right on, y'all. Hopefully, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, who are we raiding? Uh, let's see. Lakin wants us to raid Jack Cox. Jack is a good dude. He's playing uh, some retro games. Sure, we'll raid, we'll raid Jack. Here's a skate discord. There you go. Uh, that's the skate discord though. My discord, uh, is there discord.gg slash Kyle Phillips fun. Uh, you guys are the best. Let's give, uh, let's give Jack a raid. Jack is a, uh, tier three subscriber. He's playing, uh, I don't know what he's playing at. Honestly, something. Boom, boom. Jack's good dude though. Hop on that raid. <laughs> Skate Discord. Let's do this. You're off Saturday? Nice, Flute. Drop the twerkies. Yeah, when you get there, spam his chat with twerks and shenanigans and all that stuff. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I have everything muted. Sorry. The blurp is now not muted. Well, actually, as we... As we end our raid, you guys can drop your sounders. Hurry, drop all sounders. Make all the noise you want. We have like 20 seconds left. My Hero Season 6. Guys, that's right. Saturday. Season 6, My Hero. Maybe we should watch episode one first and then the movie there you go there you go chaos knights have a good one kite lakin craig sam nicole ships are wonderful ria oh and i'm sorry we there was a ton of questions couldn't get to all of them there are some similar ones i skipped past Appreciate y'all. Crow, have a go and stay safe. Floridians, rip Coolio. Y'all are the best. Skate forever. Peace out. <laughs>